You're gonna like this place. This is nice. This is the kind of place we always talked about. Huh? The Bada Bing. Welcome on back to you, me, and the Bada Bings. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for a new season of The Sopranos. Bada Bing! But it's it? a bittersweet Bada-bing. start. Oh, yeah. That's Tommy Sirico. Polly. Has recently passed away. Bummer deal. He's my favorite character. I love Polly. Tony was awesome as Polly. I liked so. him a lot in season one. I didn't like him as much in season four. The last season when he's yeah, been kind of four, flaky. Yeah. He was in jail most of this last season. But but great actor. He plays Polly great. Yeah. Regardless of what Polly's doing. Absolutely. So he will be missed for sure. For so. sure. Rest in peace, Tony. So where were we at the end of season four? Tony and Carmela are yeah. getting a divorce. Or, or they're, they're separated, separated. At least. Tony moved out at the end of the They're finale. separated. Yep. That's basically it. Yeah. So where do you think we'll pick up? I don't know. Think we'll see Tony's new digs. See Prob- probably at some point. You know, he's probably just living at the bottom bing. <laughs> he's just living at the bottom <laughs> bing? Is that why you wore your shirt today? Obviously. No, it's because you just got me this shirt. Bada bing. Can I show the lady on the... Oh, yeah. yeah. Bada bing. Looks he great. bought this for me. Looks great. Pretty yeah. cool. Don't know where else I'm going to wear this other than here, but... You can wear that anywhere. People will be like, she's a Sopranos fan. <laughs> or they'll be like, why is this chick wearing a naked lady to the strip on club shirt? when we go. <laughs> great. Well, should we jump in and start season five of The Sopranos? Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Sopranos season five. Five. And check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full length commentary, or access to polls to help us we watch next. The link's down there. Check it out. Twitter and Instagram. You know. Yeah. Cool. Let's watch The Sopranos. Here we go. I saw Steve Buscemi. What? In the cat and Steve Buscemi was the last name on the cast. Are list. we getting some Steve Buscemi this season? I think so. He's been directing some of the episodes. I all, hope he's a regular. That could all be all series. Well, he has to be if he's in the opening credits because they don't they do special guests at the end. Maybe he's replacing Ralphie. I was just gonna say somebody's got to replace that Ralphie character, right? left his grill open there's so many birds living in that thing right yeah close the lid to that grill why do we got country music because country music is always like about breaking up that's true they are known for a a breakup song yeah. is anybody living there Hardly looks like it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love country music, but it doesn't seem fitting for the demographic. Could you name the artist? No. Her car is dirty. Is that part of the song? Yeah, it's whatever man is listening to in the car. <laughs> They've served their time. It's the old never-ending battle against crime and corruption, Sakanya, to quote Superman. So what are you Just hanging out at Bobby's with Janice. Is Janice is feeding him. You mind that? Similar situation with uh, Anthony Blundetto in that same. <gasps> Steve Buscemi. That's the best picture they could find. He was a fox. You piped down with trying to watch. <laughs> it's my house, Tony. Uh, not your house. I don't think anybody's ever conceived Steve Buscemi a handsome a guy. A fox. <laughs> <laughs> They always kind of crack jokes at us, like <laughs> the, all the movies he's in. Great of you, Aunt Jan, keeping the Sunday dinner tradition going. Can you get the roast out of the oven? So it's been two years. No. Yeah. There was a two-year gap between the seasons when they was released. They just sit on the TV. It was 2004. There's yeah. a two-year gap here, too? Yeah. Today we're looking at a great year for crime reporters, Sakanya. That's a long time. Classic 04. Oh, she dropped her ring, she said. They got married. Two years is a long time. 
Or engaged, at least. Wait, can you stop a minute? Shouldn't he be in college by now? Probably a senior. It's so nice to have a man around the house. I should have thought about that before. What did you say? Go out and get that vacuum now. What did I just say? Go! Or what? What are you gonna do? <laughs> Ground him? So he can sit in his room some more? I'd spank him. That's what I'd try to do, but... Come over my knee and just... Oh, feel... Mommy! Oh my god. You fall in the pool? Mommy, help! Oh. Mom! <laughs> Mommy! Oh god. Mommy? So got a gun in the house? Mommy! It's just... <laughs> Nobody else is using this furniture. Hey! Get out of here! Go! It's like any food in this one. It's a weird place for a black bear to wander into, though. Oh, Even if yeah. they are in the suburbs. How's the olive loaf? You know what I like? New Guma. No, it's Valentina. Is it? Yeah. She, like, just disappeared last season, and then all of a sudden he's with her again. The most densely populated state in the country. And still this. It is quite surprising. Yeah. You should have busted a cap in his ass with Dad's rifle. It's illegal to discharge firearms within the borough limits, son. Even if there's a f bear, you still can't discharge a firearm? That's stupid. Video cameras in recorder. Ooh, ding-dongs. I'm Dr. Lowenstein. Oh, go back. You're kidding. No, go back. Please. What's bothering you? Global warming, the acid rain, the national death. Reminds him of Melfi. One of my therapists yeah, was a woman. Too bad you didn't get all your talking done with her. <laughs> You're free to leave anytime you want. Good. <laughs> Goddamn shrink. He's like, damn, I lived that. <laughs> when did that movie come out? Did they steal that from The Sopranos and they're just like, Play no, the movie in this. Barbara was big in the 90s, I think. I guess he's back. Melfi! Jennifer Melfi? Yes. <laughs> he sent her flowers? With <laughs> Tide. <laughs> That's the movie, Prince of Tide, I think. 1991. Do you think Melfi will get the reference? Where's he now, you think? Who the f cares? Right, Quincy? Who the f knows? <laughs> oh, bestie. Never would have happened if Paul. Him with this. Who the f cares? Helped him with the lamp, Paulie, or we could have got Silvio Scarol without having to spend the night in the f open. You let him jap you with that shovel was the problem. <laughs> you would have caught up to the prick if you didn't lose your fing shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I still think that guy's alive. Cut, sucker. I covered your ass with Tony about that whole thing and never a word of f***ing thanks, ever. <clears throat> what? Oh, 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 come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. That escalated quickly. Just a little grab ass, Polly. Tell you right now. It's finished with us. Goodbye. That's an aggressive statement. Wow. I'd like you to have dinner with me. Since we're not in therapy no more, and I'm a bachelor again. That's very thoughtful of you. I just can't do it. What, eat? You must be a toothpick. You know what I mean. You know, I waited a respectable period or whatever before making this call. No, I'm not undeterred by this. We will talk again. <laughs> <laughs> not giving up so easily. And the detergent. I don't know. But we'll find out. Leave it to Dr. Tony. I'm not deterred by this. <laughs> Do you think she eventually goes out with him? Yeah, I would. I think. I don't know. I secretly hope so. Because yeah. I think it's an interesting. It's the music. He comes there because he hears the drums. No. He was playing the drums. He was outside when he saw the bear. Yeah, but last. before she told him to go get the stuff, he was playing the drums. You think this is. Bears like from the circus and like yeah. wants to perform to the drums. Probably just likes a good beat. I mean, the animal still doesn't meet the parameters for removal. Oh, jeez. So when somebody's leg is gone, 
<laughs> you and your pal buy some new uh, lanyards for your whistles. Oh, we can't accept that. <laughs> oh, you you should be able to buy a fishing game, right? Like... What was Tony trying to do? Get him to shoot it? I don't know. You don't live here. Probably still plays the mortgage, though. So. Yeah, but that's his uh, legal responsibility. <laughs> he goes down the street to Willow Drive, too. Maybe he'll stay down there. She got a drum set, too? <laughs> you and Adrian, you check yourself into a hotel until this thing blows over. There's 1,200 extra on top of it. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. <laughs> God knows he loves room service. Yeah, I'll give him room service. The end of my foot. <laughs> well, he's an asshole, that's what. So what? <laughs> His age. Yeah, thank you, I know. Did you buy him too much stuff? He's an asshole. <laughs> Certain people see him. He's a dead man. He had coffee here, Tony. That's all. And that a coffee maker sucks. How do you like them apples? <laughs> Wasn't he just spoiling AJ before this, too? I don't think that, like, AJ was not unspoiled. Thinking maybe I gotta come back. You know, for therapy. Is he playing There's a, a long there? con like, game here. <laughs> either I have to take it back as a client or go out on a date. You know what the biggest change for me is broad shaving their bushes. I went over to Silvio's, like the Girl Scouts over there. <laughs> like the Girl Scouts over there. <laughs> I said, you heard me, motherfucker. What the f are you looking at? And with that, I hit a fan. He goes down. I'm on top of him. Everybody around it, he gets some shots in. <laughs> Nobody so much as looks at me cross-eyed. <laughs> well, welcome home, huh? Does that mean he's going to be a little troublemaker now? He's like 80, yeah. <laughs> The, the wild animals, they're dangerous. People talk. What people? Oh, I don't know. Janice heard from somebody who told Bobby. Where's the dinner at? Oh, I forget the name. It's in the car. Who's going to be there? She get a navel ring. I don't remember her belly button last time. <laughs> no, I said you should get one. Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, I've got a mom belly now. <laughs> Hardly. It's not cute anymore, is what I'm saying. It's cute to me. You want something to eat? We were just about to sit down. No, I'm good. I just stopped. It's a grenade for. I don't know, but they focused on it for a minute, didn't yeah. they? You forgetting something? You get it. I got the last one. So can we go? Hold your horses. What's going on? We ready or what? Fine, I'll get it. Give me the. Thing. I said I'll get it. Enough. It's done. Polly is pissed. <laughs> How long is he going to hold this grudge against Chris? I don't know, but I don't like this Polly. I miss Polly from seasons like one and two. Yeah. The one that was just more lighthearted and funny. And... Come on. Come on. Come on. Hold on. Yes, sir. Is he breathing? Get that egg salad out of this. Hurry up! Oh, calling a son. Just kicked the bucket. You know, I haven't forgotten our arrangement last year. You leaving me in the lurch like that? Last year, just one year. Even still. What do you want, an apology? A Whitman sampler? What? I could go for a Whitman sampler. Box of chocolates. Oh. Come on back to you, you, me, and Melfi's boobies. <laughs> oh, it's her dream. Oh, that's his game. I'm gonna stay in her subconscious. But now that he's declined again. It's off the table again. He is not deterred. I know you have a very nice face. Walking on the way, too, by the way. Good. Explain to me, okay? 
why this is a matter of such importance to you. Something about her's off right now. She got a cold? Maybe. I want your mouth. I want your eyes. You project all these qualities onto me. You don't know me, doctor is... and patient. Don't do that. No, for, forget about the way that Tony Soprano makes his way in the world. That's just to feed his children. There's two Tony Sopranos. You've never seen the other one. That's the one I want to show to you. What? A sweet talker. <laughs> right? Like, damn. Somebody grab a mop. That was hot. <laughs> that whole thing. His whole speech was like dead honest and vulnerable and mm -hmm. very nice. Nicely done. I wonder if I could use the WC. Of course, you called him. Uh, yeah, a little, but uh, I got a fleece. He's scared. <laughs> He's like, I only got the window. I miss reading the TV guide on the John. <laughs> Those were the days. Yeah. <laughs> Since the therapy is kaput, what use are you to him except for sex? Thank you, Elliot. <laughs> You know, at first, I did find him a little sexy. Dangerous alpha male. But as year followed year, the ugliness I saw, I heard. She's had a sex dream about him. She's going to bring that I up? I think a couple of them. Hasn't she, she had, had that one before? She had one, like, like season, season one. one or two, yeah. It's tradition. It's like in ancient times, the samurais, they had these pages. Young boys that did their errands, washed their clothes, shit like that. It's a sign of respect. The guy making the least amount of money has got to pay it for everybody's dinner. Real, real nice. It's motivation to make him work harder for the envelope. I guess. I've been enjoying looking at you the whole night. <laughs> Get some f***ing glasses. <laughs> you got a big moose on. It's a f***ing broad. Believe that. Really? You mean uh, it's the real deal, I think. No sh Huh? So the thing is. Really? You little f Excuse me, gentlemen. Was there a problem with the service? What are you talking about? You left me $16, sir. Perhaps you miscounted. I have a goddamn family to support. F off. Yeah, right. Go piss it away at Blackjack fing ass. Oh! Oh, jeez. Reggie. He's f***ed up. Oh. You say we hit him with a brick. Oh, Jesus. Who's driving a Hummer? Is Chris. that Chris? Yeah. Oh, jeez. We're all praying for him. Mm, you're not. You're hoping he goes, right? Look what could have happened last night. One of us could have got hurt. Or even killed, for Christ's sake. I know. Yeah, damn it. Said an innocent bystander did. I'm sorry, Paulie. I apologize too, kid. I'll talk to you later. Well, at least they made up. <laughs> Next week, everyone. Is that a group session? Looks like it. Anthony. Did you hear that in her voice? <laughs> Tickets. Bermuda. Lodging at the Elbow Beach Hotel. You take her to Bermuda? <laughs> you haven't even got on a date yet, Tony. But a guy couldn't use them, and, uh, you know, he gave them to me. What do you want me to do? Throw them away? <laughs> Our values are... Just very different. You don't like my values. Honestly? Yeah. No. Like what? <laughs> it's getting late. No, 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 no. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. The whole mob boss thing. I couldn't bear witness to violence. F*** you. No? Well, she doesn't want to go out with you anymore. <laughs> 
all part of the long con. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Calling her a f- yeah. yeah. Totally gonna win her now. <laughs> Women love it when you call them that. You want coffee? No. He wants to shoot a bear. And your coffee tastes like <laughs> He wants to feel like a man again after being rejected. Mm. Poor guy. Smoke a stogie, hold a gun, hope a bear comes. <laughs> Take his anger out on that, yeah. right? Yep. All right, well, what are your thoughts after uh, this opening episode of season five? Interesting. They're, I mean, they're really nailing the sexual tension between... Melfi and Tony. Yeah. Do you think he's going to keep uh, pestering her, or is he done after that last I statement? I don't know. Yeah. I want to say this is not the last, but... I'm just going to keep trying to get her. Yep. Well, uh, Polly and uh, Chris's grudge is over after their... Seems that way, I guess. Run in with somebody that wasn't in the family that they had to... Kill. <laughs> Yikes. Disrespected them. And they took out their anger on each other on him. Yeah. So... Not ideal. Yeah. Stand-up citizens, you know. Well, what do you think is going to happen with Carmine's family? You think he's going to kick the bucket, or is he going to linger on? I don't know, but I think we better watch episode two to yeah. figure it out. Should we jump in and see where they go from here? Yep. Let's watch some more The Sopranos. There he is. Blood Jack Mazzaro. I saw this. And I thought of you. Is that guy being trailed by the feds or something? Trailed by somebody. A little gift to show my gratitude for all our work together. Thanks. That hat looks horrible on him. You know, we're finally going to cut the ribbon uh, for the museum on the 22nd. It's a horrible choice for wardrobe. He does not look inconspicuous at all. Is it... You think, think he's, he's wearing a wire? And like it's no. in his hat in or his something? Hat? <laughs> it is, is kind of high on his head. It's weird. Take your hat off. Relax. Yeah. I just started on the pro game. Yeah, he's definitely wearing a wire. Tony, this is federal redevelopment. I'll look into it. The HUD stuff's getting busted, I bet. Mm-hmm. I think I know exactly where she is, and it's pretty f***ing hot. You got one of those too, huh? Florida? Is everything okay here? Yeah, sure, just talk. Okay then. Have a good night. Feds. Was this man with him? I saw him. You sure? Tuesday night. Jesus, because of what I said? I'm just gonna have to testify in court, though. New hats. Mike's right in the button. Ugliest hats ever. You know what's going on here, right? He f***ed up his six-figure future with old Melvinny and Myers when he blew the Junior Soprano trial. Of course he'll keep trying him until he fixes that. Going hard at him. I was dropping off some dandelions. So a beautiful patch in a vacant lot over by 15th Street. Oh, the, the vacant lot over on 15th Street? Troll to the neighborhood dogs go to piss. <laughs> it's <like a> clown. <laughs> Body shops, they reinstall undeployed bags as new. Top dollar. Brave new world. Jesus Christ, they even have shoulder belts when I went away. <laughs> Where's he going to be laid out? Oh, no. God damn it. Well, let us know. Call my Lupatazzi. There you go. (laughs) You're too happy at a funeral. Lady Shylock, you got some reputation. Yeah, my mother said that might happen. I'd like to introduce you. Who's she? Probably a big wig in the five families. Look at his hands. He looks peaceful. I'm talking about his rosary. It's for Opus Day. The f out about it. Your wife is into Opus Day. You told Columbino to put it there. You sure about it? The f is he talking about? 
Maybe you should have, John, because they don't mean anything anymore. You understand what I'm saying? Jesus, scared me. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> that the funeral got really heated. Mushroom cloud. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> From the show. Jim Campbell might be alive. Fucking great show. You gotta remember what one guy did because he thought it was his job to do, and he took a shot for you. Showing Tony crying for Band of Brothers means he's not a monster. <laughs> uh, nothing and nothing. Don't listen to him, Chrissy. I think what you're doing's brave. It's not for everybody, but things are different when you don't have that crutch, you know? We make up for it other ways. What does that mean? I don't know. Having a lot of sex? Well, I have to wear fur on the outside on account of being bare everywhere else. You believe this one? Jesus. She waxes her toes? She's hitting on Chris. But I guess asking you for a little support system in my own home is way to f out of line. You gotta have some more wine. Seem to have a good time tonight. That is really rude. What? The fact that she's drinking in front of him. Yeah. She owns a bar too. That didn't really help. Well, even that my cannoli was bigger than this. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that suit stands the test of time. <laughs> Three sizes too big. Look at us. 15 f years of language. I think he wore that in The Wedding Singer. Well, I'd say it. Pro probably Just too. Oh, I, I don't know what to say. Don't Take say your suit jacket off. You look like a putz. <laughs> Tony, you remember Bobby? Good to see oh, yeah. you. Now Welcome my on. husband. Oh, they did get married. How come we never met you before? <laughs> I've been away on business. I've never even heard of you. Stop playing with your ice. Come on. Fifteen years is a long time, really. Everything is out of style. If you wait another fifteen, though, it comes back in style. For sure, yeah. Right. Oversized white suits will be back in no time, I right. have no doubt it. No, about, no doubt about it. No, I mean, I wasn't around. What can I expect? I mean, if things had gone different way back when, who knows? What do you want from me? Nothing. I'm just saying, it's good it wasn't both of us. He took the fall for him or something. You're gonna like this place. This is nice. This is the kind of place we always talked about, huh? The Bada Bing. Welcome on back to you, me, and the Bada Bings. I was uh, very touched by that funeral the other day. Real hot grabber, that little carmine. Five years in Florida fixing wet t-shirt contests. I don't know if I could do that there. Uh, right? Take a dump right there. <laughs> I got my associate's degree already. It took me five years. And now it's only like six months more for my massage license. So you, so you want to run a massage parlor? No. Wants to be straight. Well, legit. I need regular work until I'm certified. Just regular work. Delivery man for his linen fleet. Bobby got gelato? No, 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 Koreans. Wow, Tom, thanks. Thank you. Gonna have to give happy endings, but... Is that what he's saying? <laughs> no, I, I think he's working for a dry cleaner, not a masseuse. Oh. <laughs> Come on, that is what Film Club is all about, trying new things. Now, film Club? Background. Let's see what Leonard Malton has no, to no, say. No, 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 no. I haven't seen it. You haven't seen Citizen, Citizen Kane? No. Orson Welles? Orson Welles wrote it? I don't have any clue what it's about. You tell me when to put him back in. Right now it's the FBI warning. You might just have to skip this whole scene if they talk about it. Well, tell me when to put him back in. I saw Laura Bazzi in the dressing room at Lomans. Definitely had some work. All right, I think you can. They're gossiping now, so. Marriage is beautiful in the beginning, but two, three years later, you'd think there'd be some romance at least. Janice, you're a newlywed. I know. Six months, and Bobby still hasn't found my rosebud. It's gonna be weird for Janice to hear Carmela talk about a divorce with her brother, right? Mm -hmm. I'm coming. I 
told you, just family. God, is that all you think about is your f***ing work? Yeah, she's not your friend. What do I get out of it? Maybe take some comfort in the fact that you're trying to do the right thing by helping your government. No, seriously. <laughs> and nowhere but the FBI is the line clearer between the good guys and the bad guys. And you're with the good guys now. Wow. Jesus. I somehow think Christopher wouldn't give a sh about that. You're gonna deal those? They're not candy bars. You can let some of them go. <laughs> <laughs> Like my back is on vacation. Well, I could definitely use one. You're gonna keep him on payroll as the mas mob masseuse? He's really f***ing good. Well, it's not like being in the joint to teach you how to ease another man's tensions. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Can I talk to you a minute? He's the boss, you can't talk to him like that. Things have changed around here. I'm the boss of this family you don't make fun of me got it got it knock off the massage shit. it's a place of business not a jack lane tony just needs a massage yeah fucking sliding a stupid bill in and out of the cigarette machine for like an hour an hour i bet you can go longer than that jesus why do you always talk like a whore because men like it yeah i think you're right about that yeah you know who doesn't like that the girls of the men, right? She's pissed. <laughs> Adrian, I'd you need to fucking, talk to her friend. I'd be fucking pissed if somebody was talking to you like that. Like, step off. Absolutely. It's my sarong. Oh, Jesus Christ. If he flipped, I'd be fucked. You want me to take care of it? All right, we don't know shit yet, right? He didn't give me that paper, though. What was that, Tom? It was a painting of the Rat Pack. It was a sign that he's a rat. My old man was very good at vibing people out, too. Mustard up to something? I'll pick it up. Should have picked it up with that f***ing hat. <laughs> well, he's wearing the hat again. Also, this is a different guy. Than who was talking? In no, then the master on the one that was uh, having sex with his Russian... X. That was his lawyer. This is the guy that's doing all the No, stuff. his lawyer was not that was not his lawyer. It was councilman, right? Councilman? Everything else okay? Good EKG and shit, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I don't I don't like what I'm hearing. Relax. It's not worth losing your hair over. Alright. You couldn't tell shit. What the f am I a mind reader? <laughs> That Korean Kim, something about your cousin. It's your f***ing truck. What do you want me to do about it? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Fire him. Go ahead. Put him out the f***ing street for all I care. Did he wreck it? Get pulled over? What's going on? The man is trying to go straight. Don't you give a f*** about your cousin? I'm sorry, T. You're right. Don't show him any disrespect. It's f***ing useless to you. So what is next on that list? Number three, The Godfather. <laughs> They've all seen it. What's number four? They've all had to have seen it like multiple times with their husbands. I imagine. Program. He turned on everybody, us, the people he knew his whole life. Who knows why people do what they do? But what kind of person does that? I mean, it's like Judas or something. She's getting motivations from both ends. Mm-hmm. Is he living at his mom's house? Yep. Yeah, Janice is living with Bobby, so... It's convenient. <laughs> Beautiful. Is there a bug in it? Possibly. He's gonna find out. Oh, I want to tell you all something. This is driving me crazy. <laughs> but you know you can tell us anything. You don't want to tell them that. Where are you going? Oh, oh my god! Oh, I'm fine, okay? Just leave me alone. No, you're bleeding. Let me dry. Oh, you didn't smash your face. That's a good thing. You're my cousin and my best friend. You gotta know we could always talk. Yeah, well, I'll buy a lunchbox. 
All right, go, go to sleep, go to sleep. A lot of comments about his weight this episode. Yeah, don't know why. Does that mean he's processed it? Mm-hmm. Oh, he's already dealt with. Did you get it? I don't know. Girl, she's totally ripping off her employer. Probably over a hundred grand. What do you mean? Tina Francesco's her name. How many checks? I mean, how much? Like I said, probably over a hundred grand. She keeps flirting with my boyfriend, too. Well, getting people out of her life that are bugging her. Yeah. <laughs> Think they're going to bust her? I don't know. Stop worrying about it. Sorry. I thought it was a spider. No, it was a little fly. Okay. I, okay. I'm less worried about it if it's a fly. I thought yeah. it was a little spider that was dangling down. No. It was buzzing around. Okay. Jeez. Freaking out over here. Well, I yeah. I, I mean, there's been two nights this week where I had a spider crawling across my arm in bed. Yeah. Well. Like attracting them now, and it's terrifying me. The webs we spin. Anyways. All right. Well, what do you think? What do you think of Tony's cousin Tony? I like him. Yeah. Steve Buscemi's always. Fun, I like him. So. Yeah. Do you think he's gonna keep the straight life and go legit? I think so. I think he'll bring in a fun perspective. Outside looking in, kind of mm -hmm. thing, and kind of Tony's. A more playful. Tony with his cousin, I think it's going to come out. You think so? I think so. Maybe, maybe that last conversation they had on the phone was like, and it, it he was could just, be a, somebody he could talk to. Right? Yeah, I think it's just his way of being like, listen, I'm your cousin. I love you. We can dick around, but you got to show me respect in front of my guys. Yeah. But I think it's going to be good for Tony. Yeah. Somebody you can talk to that's not Dr. Melfi. Since I'm pretty sure that's probably over, huh? Yep. Can't go talking to her anymore. Nope. Not when you call her. Well, he uh, had to process that uh, conversation he had mm -hmm. with the HUD guy, the development stuff. Mm -hmm. And it took him a while, and he finally realized that, yeah, he's a rat. Yeah. Threw the painting out and had him whacked. So, and then that other guy was also at a dinner in this episode. Oh, uh, the mob guy? Yeah. Yeah, the one that's... Asking for a raise? Yeah, that's on, but on he the was, fence He was list. at that dinner with them with, uh, mm -hmm. was it with the couples? At the couple's dinner they had? Uh, no, it was before that. It was like the men's... The, oh, uh, yeah, the sit-down. Lobster yeah, dinner. Lobster dinner, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, so, another good couple episodes. In yeah, books. they're really weighing on uh, Adriana's convictions in this one. Like, mm -hmm. who's she going to side with? But she finally ratted somebody out, but they're not really... I don't think they'll... She's not the Doesn't family. affect now. Doesn't affect so. that at all. Maybe that's what's just what she's going to do. But it'd score some points with the fans, probably, if they end up... Mm -hmm. Giving them something to sink their teeth into, but nothing that incriminates yeah, her family. Anybody that she loves, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. All right. Well, anything else on your mind after this? Got phantom feels everywhere now. Yeah. I'm worried about spiders. Just, just relax. <sighs> Go watch the arachnophobia reaction, and you'll be fine. Good one. Uh, no, I think that about does it for yeah. this first couple episodes of season five. Yeah. What should people comment on after this double episode? We like Steve Buscemi. Who as doesn't a, like Steve as a Buscemi. new recurring character? Yeah, moving from the directors. I think he wrote a couple episodes too, maybe, okay. and uh, finally starring in it though. I think this kind of set up his leading Boardwalk Empire after this wrapped up huh? for HBO. So could be. We'll see. Haven't how seen that one either. His character Tony B develops from here. So yeah, I'm excited to see it. To it. Yeah. Well, thanks for hanging out. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and come back next week for episodes. Three and four. four. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentary, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.
So, we're at the Peppermint Lounge, but in walks these two stewardesses from Brandon. Lawrence Taylor? Sir Lawrence from the Meadowlands. Your Highness, how are you? Tony, let me One of the greatest linebackers of all time. Maybe the greatest, actually. LT was amazing. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for some more Italian family mafia business. The Sopranos. Ah, uh, yes. What's going on? Where did we leave off last time? Just started season five. Uh, Tony's trying to get in uh, Melfi's pants. Melfi's pants, yeah. 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 It's not working so far, but he is determined. Janice and what's Bobby. his name are married now. Yeah. Tony's living in his mom's old house because Janice is living with Bobby. Yeah, yeah. Carmela is living the single life trying to avoid bears. Yeah. And then Tony's cousin, Tony, yeah, got Tony out of prison B. after 20 years. That's right. So uh, what do you think is going to happen? I don't know, but I'm excited to see. Do you think Tony B is going to stay straight? Yeah. Or is he going get, to get into some trouble? Well, I'm, I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. Right. Well, should we jump in and see? Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for The Sopranos. Yep. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos. Follow and commentary access to pulls up. Pick what you watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Twitter and Instagram. You know the thing. And if you don't. Then don't. Don't worry about it. Let's watch The Sopranos. Here we go. The bada bing. We're back. Mr. Clean. Where's your dirties? I'll get them. Do they get much dirties there? Really dirties. <laughs> it's hard seeing you like this. What, working? With a real job? His name's not Lewis. He's been wearing that jacket the whole time. It could have killed you. You ended up in the ER. That's 16 stitches. You got 15 years. You always were a lucky fuck. <laughs> What are you doing? I gotta make a stop. Uh oh. Tony's gonna be uh, getting into trouble with this guy. Yeah. Not by choice. This old, old, old guy. My nephew does the lawns in this neighborhood. I've been working in this neighborhood for 26 years. I said my nephew has this area. Gary Lamana. Fuck off, huh? I'm busy here. <laughs> oh, damn. A cheap shot. Oh god, oh god, oh god. You don't work this neighborhood! Christ, we're on parole. He legit said he's worked it for 25 years. How old is your nephew? Maybe they're in the wrong neighborhood. No, it's not her. That's Judy! No, it's not Judy. Curb. The fuck? Yes, it is. Of course it is. Why am I on there? He's losing it. That's Bobby. Does kind of look like <laughs> him, him and Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> it's not you. It's a TV program, movie. Dirty. <laughs> oh, poor guy. That was the episode with the creepy doll that he had yeah. to find a replacement for. It. <laughs> I remember that was a that good one. one. That's a good one. Look, Bobby, marriage or any partnership for that matter is a give and a take. Just waiting for you to start giving. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me, right? <laughs> Maybe you can make more collections or something. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate it. Bobby's been married to Janice for like a year and a half. He wants to go crack some skulls to let some anger out. <laughs> Man came by and said he was gonna cut the lawns. I said, no, I want Mr. Vitro. He Gary Lamana landscaping. Do you know him? He just goes. I'll straighten it out. It's probably gonna straighten this issue out. He, that's what he just said. Gonna, Are you listening? He, he always looks out for his mom. It's right. How about this humidity? Hey. 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 Guys, please, whatever this is, shut up. Two times you were told to kick up the fucking Johnny Sack. And what do you do, huh? You kick up the little Carmine. Paper. Jeez. The family war is heating up, huh? I'll suck your cock, okay? All of you guys. 
suck our cocks. Yeah. All of them? Adios, you fucking skank. It's too thick. Only made it to the R's. <laughs> oh, God. Next time, there'll be no next time. Did, Did he know they, that they, was going to happen? They must have known that, right? He must have known. Whew. They almost killed us. Jason, men are talking here. <laughs> you have any ideas? What are you asking him for? He never even had the makings of a varsity athlete. <laughs> 30 years. It wasn't for that little construction beef down in Yonkers. It'd be you one in that family today. Things happen how they happen. He doesn't want to be a boss? And John still does better financially than he ever did on the Carmine. You think Johnny's going to be really excited about being a three-headed no, monster? Don't I don't think so. that's over. You got me thinking about going to the cops. What are you talking about? Where you from? Don't go to the cops. Yeah? So you give me a token. I don't know. Couple percent. Jeez. What a prick. They're not working. If Polly can level with that guy. Is he good enough friends with him? Hey, hey, come on, sit down. It's like the same office building they had the garbage business in, right? A couple seasons ago. You've been away 20 fucking years. Which entitles me to earn. Which entitles you to shit. What's yours is yours, Paulie. But what ain't is anybody else's. Now do yourself a fucking favor and get the fuck out of my store. He seems to be a bit of a loose cannon. Why do you think he went to jail for 20 years? Bobby Jr. started wetting his bed again, practically every night. Great. AJ's gonna be a prick about it. This family stuff, these Sunday dinners, they're important, Janice. Just knows Tony's driving a new car. Cadillac. Yeah, get rid of the Tahoe. Suburban. Was it a Suburban or Tahoe? Probably a Suburban. Oh, the Still got beef with Artie, huh? Look, I mean, you know, if you want, I'm staying over my mother's and the place is empty. Roommates! Thank you very much. You get to Tony B in the other bedroom? Bachelor pad. Right? Pretty fun. I got something going. I think I can save you like 70%. <laughs> He's like, how much am I going to have to kick back to him, though? We're going to eat today or what? Barb and Tom aren't here yet with the entrees, Uncle Jim. Me. But where are they supposed to come? I'm not sure they there. Where is he? Is he not in bed? I think he must be in bed. Is he under the covers? I'll come help. <clears throat> Uh-oh. My mic just dropped. Yeah. Your father never had the makings of a varsity athlete. Oh, what the... What the hell's with you? What? It's not true. I let it in football. <laughs> and it's the kind of stuff I'm teaching my kids not to do. So I don't want to hear it again. End of subject. I think it's the only line he remembers from his... Because his dementia's coming in. Yeah. It's like a phrase that he remembers to say a lot. We still get those season tickets, big brother? All I know is you never had the makings of a varsity athlete. A oh, son of a bitch! What? Did I just tell you not to say that again? Say what? Me, what's going on? on? It's my last Sunday dinner here. That's what's going on. Junior doesn't even know he's doing it. <laughs> Uncle Jim, was that really necessary? He's a goddamn hothouse flower. That's his problem. Or does he? I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell. Took his boy out of college because he couldn't afford it anymore. He said it's his last time coming here. We're going to get in some beef over some gardeners here pretty quick. Mm-hmm. You all were in charge equally, but no major decisions can be made without a majority or two. What the fuck? Hey, this way you're not such a big target for the feds. What's this, the fucking UN now? <laughs> I forget it. Forget I said fuck it. Fuck that. I like this location. A Ferris wheel in the back in the Yankee Stadium behind Johnny. Johnny Sachs. You're going to piss people off? I heard he was a linebacker in college. That's why they call him that. <laughs> Where is he? Uh oh. I'm telling you, I don't know. Oh boy. Yeah. When did you see him last? 
An hour ago. He's confused. He wanted to, want to collect, probably. He's probably going to go beat somebody up because they're not paying him. I want to see Johnny Soprano. Ain't no Johnny here. I'm his brother, damn it. He owns this place. Hold up now. Some fellas had this place here. Kept those vending machines. Well, ain't no vending machines here no more. Come on, fool. Go on. <laughs> He's losing it. Bobby, I just can't. I need your help here. Jesus Christ. Sometimes I think I love Junior more than you do. You do. Without a doubt. One. He will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight. Is he listening to Art of War in the car? <laughs> Sounds like it. But you're going to make good on his busted arm. Oh, yeah? Why am I going to do that? Of course, I said so. That's why. Why don't you take a walk, huh? What's Polly? What's Polly gonna do? Oh, but they're cutting the tree right into the power oh. lines. <laughs> Oops. By next Tuesday, I want Salvitro's whole lot of Petersville paid. Top of that, from now on, I get ten percent or whatever you make in this neighborhood. <laughs> Still the lawnmower. <laughs> You could fit it in the trunk if you lower the arm. I don't know how push lawnmowers work. Neither is Polly, apparently. Shit. She's a little calm on and Johnny comes up, you clam up. You got it, though. Say nothing, because you said the wrong thing. I don't think you're going to make that meeting, Tony. What? He's wandering, Tony. He can wander off the Palisades for all I care. He's fucking dead to me. <laughs> how long has he lived in this place? I don't know. It's a shame then you can't find a way to work things out. Give me a piece of bread, huh? You're supposed to be climbing up, right? You know, it wasn't long ago I remember you used to wait in the car. And as far as I'm concerned, you should still be there. Whoops. He was just Fuck trying. Fuck, was just. Everybody's got a goddamn opinion. Simmer the fuck down, dude. They fight. We pick up any crumbs from a fallout. The odds are that Johnny will end up on top, but who knows? So keep your ears open and your mouth shut! Tony told him to shut up. Yeah, he did not listen at all. Just couldn't help himself. This recent case against Joe Messino in New York, that was seven years before indictments were handed down. It's a long time to be ratting and keep your mm -hmm. neck stretched out like that, right? You got all the looks, I tell you that. What are you saying? You and I had relations. <laughs> I do half and half in the back seat. I want to go home. Well, let me get a ride by the shelter. I have to find my car. Oh my God, he's really lost. Yeah. Does she actually remember him? You think? I don't think so. I think she was just pretending she did so that she could get something from him. Something from him. If you don't want to tell me your name, you're not in any trouble or anything. Corrado Soprano. At least he remembered his name. They did too. Here you go, sir. Go shit in your hat. Uncle June, stop! Thank you, officer. Mm, did you tell Tommy you were going to see my father? Of course not. I'll open some soup. You go out with some exercise, people give you the goddamn third degree. Oh, jeez. I know. My grain got confused sometimes and wandered, but all she did was wander outside and pick up weeds. Did lawn work? <laughs> she just, like, would go and pick up weeds outside, and then she'd bring them into the house and put them on the kitchen counter. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Yeah, it was really weird. <laughs> there may be something seriously wrong with him. Listen, Janice, like I told your husband, he's fucking dead to me. Don't be so traumatic. Trying to be a good son while you're off dropping acid and blowing roadies. Roadies? Oh, you... <laughs> <laughs> you're dirty. Oh, shit. You want more responsibility? Stop with controlling your wife. Fuck, Tony. Prick. Or he's gonna have a shiner at work now. He jumped out the tree. And come at me with a chainsaw. I got a right to defend myself, Paul. All right, take it easy. Relax. <laughs> a 
Oh, <laughs> These foggy day at the golf course. Mrs. Soprano. Quit looking at it. I can't help it. We'll get it I'm after this episode. Waiting for it to jump on me. <laughs> it's not gonna jump on you. Those jumping spiders. There's a spider on our wall behind the TV. Unfortunately, obstinacy is consistent with his condition. Patience, forgetfulness, particularly with short-term memory. Do you find he'll ask the same question every three minutes, what time it is? He's like, oh, I'm an asshole. It's <laughs> a doctor talked to him about it, so now he's like, oh, shit. That's why he's been saying he just doesn't have the makings of a varsity athlete. Yeah, because it's like... he just, it's what he's saying. It's a comp yard. Yep. Trying to clean out my refrigerator. Make sure you form a seal when you shut that freezer door. It's going down. You better get it before it gets lost behind the wall. Great. You're the worst. I'll get it, don't worry. It's gone now. Why is it gonna be something mean? Why can't you repeat something good? I mean, don't you love me? Is that a no? I don't, know. I don't know. Or is he sad that he had to be asked that? Yeah, I mean, I think the latter. I think, of course, he loves him. Mm -hmm. Do you need to get that spider? Uh, yeah, I mean, right. good luck finding it. It's probably up your pants by now. Up your pants first. Or sleeter. <laughs> it's one of those little tiny ones that moves really fast. It, like, crawled up the wall. All the way across the wall, all the way down the wall, and now it's behind his desk somewhere, and we don't stand a chance. He's not gonna get it. He's gonna let the dog in. Like, what's he doing with the dog right now? We got a spider to deal with. I can't be seen. It's nowhere to be seen. Last I saw it was headed this direction on the Towards us. on the ground though, or like under the desk. It's gone. I mean you're not gonna find it now. You don't until you sit at your desk to do some editing and starts crawling on your feet. And then I kill it. And then you're gonna cry like a little girl and tell me, ask me to come kill I'm it. I'm gonna cry as much as you are right now. I'll just deal with it then. All right. Let's talk a little bit more about that episode. Well, what did you think after that episode? <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> it's annoying, right? Only when you do it like that. Oh, you do it like that every single day. All right. Well. uh... Are we going to get this down or what? Fucking say something. I was going to, and then you interrupted me. So this issue with Junior is just going to get worse. Right? He's just going to just... Well, if he takes his meds, he'll stop having these mini strokes, and you should... I think that's the stop. meds are going to help that, that that's much? That's what or? the doctor said. Okay. Neurologist said so it. So that's what the issue is, just a, like a mini little stroke. That and... is what the neurologist is saying. Okay. Did, he hadn't even gone to the doctor yet, had he? I, was he just, like, I don't saying, know. Like, remember when you're... Uncle came in like a yeah. year and a half ago, and I don't know. Was he suffering from that, I mean, maybe he heard something down the grapevine. I yeah. think Janice called him. No, yeah, maybe so. Well, Janice and uh, Tony got into it. Mm -hmm. Do you think uh, he's going to reconcile with Janice after finding out that uh, he was kind of the one in wrong? I mean, uh, I'm the sure doctor? they will fix whatever issue they got going on at some point. Yeah. Well, should we jump in and see if the Garden Wars continue? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's watch some more The Sopranos. Is AJ? What's he doing? Is he practicing driving or something? I don't get it. Jason, don't put pine cones in a filter. How's the matter with you? Dumb kids. They will probably go through their entire lives 
not knowing that their father's sperm was smuggled out of jail to get Nancy pregnant. <laughs> oh. Is this one of your attacks? No, I, th I think it's just indigestion. He's having a heart attack. Now what's on your mind? Don't go for the gabagool right now. Uh-oh. Jason! Oh, no! Jason! Johnny Sack is such an ass. The money goes up to John. Well, now there's only two heads. Technically, it's him that's the head, not his daughter. He's gonna back down, though. Or they're just gonna... Start killing everybody. We go all out, we'll steamroll right over John. And I predict the guys in the street in Brooklyn, Queens, they'll welcome us as fucking heroes. It'll be easy. We got it. It came back up. <laughs> Use the extra power suction, max suction. Keep sucking. Make, it suck fucking, it harder. It fucking turned off. Oh. Okay, then go to the regular section. Fuck. Battery only lasts for two seconds with that section? I don't... It's not the battery. It just, like, fucking turns off. No, it's the battery. He got it. He... It's in there. Thank you. Sorry. Jeez. At least you don't have to worry about crawling all over you later. I was. Oh, the spiders are the good ones. What? Those are the good spiders. They oh, have. I know. We're going to get so much hate mail. <laughs> that long showman to death over a corner table. No, Sith. Here we go. Memory lane. It's important these young guys know the history. Tell them about the time uh, Tony and Jackie Aprile knocked over your card game. <laughs> First of all, it was my game. Features forgiven. Even if he hasn't forgotten. So it was his card game, him and Jackie busted up, huh? No wonder he doesn't have a lot of respect for Tony, huh? I'll give you 20%, but you gotta rent the house from me. I could throw some high rollers your way. Rent to mine. Thank you, Don Antonio. Old school, we'll call him Don in his Italian name. I'm getting some Botox done, huh? Thinking about it. So, we're at the Peppermint Lounge, but in walks these two stewardesses from Brandon. Lawrence Taylor? Sir Lawrence from the Meadowlands. Your Highness, how are you? Tony, let me introduce One of the greatest linebackers of all time. Maybe the greatest, actually. LT was amazing. Christ, how many times this guy got to say hello? <laughs> what, did I interrupt one of your uh, impermeable stories? Yep. Oh, this Asa Silver, head of commercial paper at Goldman Sachs, Upper East Side. I didn't get my invitation. <laughs> high rollers there huh what's his name was not liking Tony's disrespect though mm. he's not going to get in with these grades and I know about football Anthony that's our ace in the hole SAT wise 505 and 430 I think we can edge up the math into the fives the next round we got a long time before we got to worry about SATs and ACTs and thank god They'll be all right, though. They're not dumb like Anthony. What's that? Who's here when I got here? <laughs> Secret admirer. Okay, if a million zeros can be written on the front and back of a sheet of paper, how many sheets of paper do you need for a Google of zeros? That's not a question they're going to ask you on the SATs. A Google? The fuck is a Google? Is it a million millions? I think so. So you'd need half a million... Sheets of paper. I don't fucking know. Baby, it's their SC. Loaded. 3.3 liters. We just bought him a flipping car. <laughs> Doors are kind of squeaky. Then this baby sits in the garage till you pull your grades up to a C. What? You heard your father. I was talking to him, not you. Ooh, smack him. 
smack him in the back of the head if he said that to me. No matter was always sharper, but I remember the same thing with her. It's like watching an angel fool. Your kids are assholes. It's unfortunate. He's an asshole, so, I mean, what do they expect? Apple doesn't far far from the tree. Yeah. You're the boss. They're scared of you. They have to kiss your ass, laugh at your stupid jokes. Well, what about Artie, then? You know, you're turning into a friggin' cynic. Yeah, whatever. I'm running a fucking business, not a popularity contest. And I apologize for my use of foul language. Foul with a W. <laughs> He's talking about too many birds. Damn ducks again. Was that on purpose? His, his duck issue? No, I don't think so. I think it was. I think he was trying to be funny. I thought maybe we could meet, have lunch, a uh, cup of coffee. I, I could share them with you. Next week, perhaps? Yes, I'm going to run a date. Is he, is, was that a... Is he trying to... I think so. Get over yourself. Over myself? What is that supposed to mean? Let's go. Do me a big favor. If you're gonna be a martyr, obviously I'll sit here. Jesus. <laughs> he's insufferable. <laughs> yeah, he's the worst. Oh, you're liking the Escalade. I can't keep him on a lot. I love it. After I pulled out that global position and shit. Oh, right. Oh, he's got his eye on the big picture. Up to you. Carmelo's words were just echoing through his head right there. Just kissing his ass. I used to be able to write off condoms. <laughs> <laughs> the boring 747. <laughs> Even he's like, that wasn't funny. It wasn't actually very funny at all. <laughs> These guys are just kissing my ass. <laughs> his joke's worse than mine. Mm, not quite as bad. Whoa. Just like so, gone in 60 seconds sort of thing. <laughs> Robbing a valet? Valet? Yeah. Oh, at his wedding? <laughs> Tony never got his invitation. Who set it up, though? Tony, or was it uh, the other old guy? All right, you better stay there and be home on time tomorrow. I don't want any shit from mom. Uh oh. Well, I mean, I feel like a good sibling would probably do that. Yeah. I, I have a feeling cover for each other. In trouble tonight, though. Oh, definitely, because he's an idiot. Giving him inch, he takes a mile. It's a very teenager thing to do, though, right? Mom, he's fine. You just wait until you have children. Not me. I'm never having kids. I'm gonna try to make one tonight. <laughs> Welcome on back to me and the boobies. AJ's doing stupid shit. Come on, open the fucking door. <coughs> Where's the patient? Oh god. Lots of boobies tonight. Bada bing. This is a great song to strip to too. I mean, they had one of those, you know, what do you call it, those car carrier things? And it was a very well-coordinated operation. Do you think it was Phil that stole the cars? Who's Phil? The old dude. Yeah. <laughs> Classy. It's like 1 p.m. Yeah. AJ, it's your mother. Call me. Or maybe just 10.30. No, no, don't answer it. My face is stuck to the rug. They fucking crazy glued you. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh. Jesus, fucking idiot kids. Oh, dude. Oh. They shaved his eyebrows too. <laughs> On the west side, Tony, just go there, all right? I am, I'm so worried. I'm not even angry anymore. Oh, you're still angry. <laughs> no, that you gave me your word. Get off my back. You are a liar. Fuck you. What did you say? Get back here. 
Don't beat the shit out of this kid. Feel good about yourself, douchebag? Gonna take a couple months for his eyebrows to grow back. He looks like an idiot for a while. Yeah, Dad's gonna beat your ass. Oh, hey, Dad. I was just taking out the trash. It's garbage day tomorrow. Mm-hmm. What's different about you? He has no eyebrows, Tony. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm selling it tomorrow. Look, she wouldn't let me talk. I was trying to tell her what happened. Oh, see, it's my fault. A horseshit. I mean, what went on up there? Poppers and weird sex. What? No. <laughs> you had a couple beers. Yeah. And Do you, any drugs? No. And you got high. I don't think he inhaled. He couldn't man up enough. Choked on it. Should be grounded, yeah, but... It's not the end of the world. What? He super glued his face to the carpet. It wasn't just a couple of beers. To get him to love me as much as he loves you. He loves you. It's just... You're his mother. It's different. I can't be the villain anymore. I mean it. And I can't say fuck it. Take him. Let him live with you. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do, Dad? How's that gonna go out? How's that gonna go for him? That's the second time I'm playing catch up with you. What the fuck are you talking about? The lawn cut. What do I have to send you a memo every time I move my bowels too? Maybe. I'm sorry if I offended you. you gotta remember, Tony, I still think he is a kid. I'll learn. Better learn pretty fast. We all right. Just get yourself 55 back, okay? Is he gonna kill him? No, I think uh, Tony actually saw that he wasn't faking it mm. and somehow gained some respect back from him. Did I learn nothing from Mitchie April? Huh? They put in the bud. Oh, okay. All right, well, don't be so hard on yourself, though. I was wrong. He was reminiscing about him not having any respect for him. Right. So. Park the load here. This way I'm around. Keep my glimpse on the stuff. Yeah? How much you gonna want for that? Two. Fuck you, Feech. It's fucking parking. You gotta kick in a TV. So, uh, was Chris just, like, setting him up for something, you think? Definitely. Some notion of escaping the quotidian. Well, no. So you were married. For about... I've never heard that word in my life. Quotidian? Me yeah. either. And who was it by again? Gustav Flaubert. <laughs> She's like, I don't know smell that. <laughs> She's feigning interest. Supervisor Curran, parole board. Site visit. Oh, they just, they're not going to kill him. They're just going to send him back to jail. Do you have the truck in his garage? Probably. Let's go out and open it up. You want to see my fucking garage? You never seen an oil stain before? Uh oh. Well, what's a Dutch oven? When you fall in bed with a woman and you falls her head under the cover. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> Jesus. You're really good at the Dutch ovens. It probably reeks in that house. <laughs> Four men. In 15 minutes. No, no. Just needs to give him a look, and he does what he says. Oh. Back to prison we go. That was AJ doing more. I know, I still wonder why he was doing that. <laughs> Put miles on the car or something. Just <laughs> practicing for nothing. Mommy! That was, that's why he was just reliving his tricycle days. I guess. Yeah. Bummer. Empty nest. 
That could be even worse for her than yeah. having Anthony in the house. For sure. Well, Phil has been dealt with. Was that his name? I think so. <laughs> I'm going to call him Phil. It's Lamana something. I don't know. No, that was the bakery he worked at. What was his last name? Was it Phil Lamana? I don't know if his first name was Phil. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't Phil. I'm pretty sure it was. His nephew's last name was Lamana, too. The, okay. It has to be his last name. Well, I just don't, well, <laughs> I don't know the first one. He's back in prison. Yes. So how many more years do you think he got tacked on? Ten. Yeah. I think he'll die in prison. For breaking his parole. Yeah. And AJ is now living at the bachelor pad with Artie and Tony. And Tony. Do you think? I think Tony just visits because he has nothing better to do, right? Um, maybe he's living there, too. Who knows? I thought he was living in the basement of his mom's or whatever. Eh, so could maybe be. he moved out finally. Who knows? There's only two extra bedrooms, so. Semantics. We don't care right now. Artie and Tony got bunk beds. There we go. There we go. More room for activities. Yep. <sighs> Yeah, so Carmella got to Tony with the, uh, he doesn't have any friends. Mm-hmm. But then, I mean, they were all hanging out there watching the ball game there at the end, farting it up. Yep. So. Definitely your friends. Yeah. Granted, they weren't laughing at his jokes because he wasn't saying anything funny, but do you think uh, that's going to weigh more on Tony's ego going forward or it's just kind of the theme I don't of think it episode? was just the theme, yeah. Okay. What do you think uh, about uh, the stuff going down in New York? I hope Johnny Sack gets taken out at some point. Yeah. And I, really I mean, he was him. the one that apparently set up the, the car thing. The car thing. Mm-hmm. And so that's stepping on toes all over the place. And having one of your own guys go to a different family to make yeah. a deal like that is very disrespectful. So Not ideal. I think we're going to have a full on war this season in the New York family? No. No? You think that? One could only hope. You think Johnny's just going to win it? I don't know. Where do you think Tony would like to see that? I don't know. Go? It's too early in the season to tell. Yeah. Well, what should people comment on after these two episodes? If you could play poker with anybody, who would you invite to your high stakes poker game? There you go. With Lawrence Taylor on this at one. The table. I think that second game had a rock star, but yeah. I did not recognize it. Me either. So let us know who you'd like to play high stakes poker with. Also, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for Sopranos. Come back next week. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below for more early access to our videos, full-length commentary, or access to polls, helps pick what we watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. it at all makes me feel really uncomfortable don't no 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 howdy folks welcome back to you me and the tv and it's time for some more gabagool with the sopranos the gabagool gotta get some what's going on last time we watched do you remember Honestly, no, I don't remember. Uh, Tony had to deal with the problem child, both Anthony Jr. and the old guy, Feech. Sent oh. him back to prison. They set him up to fail a parole. The old guy who was messing oh, up the, okay, yeah. the gardening, gotcha. all that stuff. That's basically all that happened. Was okay. Polly and him butted heads over who was gardening who. Yeah. And then uh, he uh, decided to rob from a... Wedding that was one of Tony's good friends. Yeah, friends, stealing right? cars. Yep, that's right. I remember. And so AJ's living with Tony, and Tony sent this guy on his way back to prison. Cool. Yep. So you didn't remember anything. Well, should we jump back in? I, we're going to have to. Let's yeah. See what happens next. Yep. Well, let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Sopranos. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full and commentary, or access to polls, helps people we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Twitter and Instagram. I've got a sneeze coming, but I don't know. Okay. Did that work? It passed. Let's watch The Sopranos. Here we go. That was like a, it was like slowly building to the sneeze was. Oof, makes my eyes water.
What are you doing here? I got an office here. Who's your designated driver? I'm not the one with all the debts in your car. <laughs> Here's some money. Have a good time, sweetheart. Be careful. Awkward to run into your kid at the nightclub. After More you so just for her, I think. snorted some something. All right, uh, call and tell him to meet us at Bud's Butter Bun on Broadway and 18th. All right. He doesn't want to do business with Meadows in the building. The guy sure can put in the hours. Let's go someplace else. It's hot in that club, eh? They're all sweaty. You think that might have something to do with you? Oh, if you think I'm going to blow this guy for your sick purposes, you are sadly. <laughs> Oof. What's the matter? I got to go to the bathroom. No, I, I, I gotta go. Number two. I'll take you to your car. No, I gotta go now. She's gonna have the shits. <laughs> Just wearing white pants, too. Yeah. Oof. Boy, haven't we all been there, though. Not with the white pants, but... This letter can't get too much. We are... He get shot? I'm gonna get this down to the lab, see what's what. Huh. Oh. Mole. We've all been there. No mole scraped off your head? <laughs> not, my, not my head. <laughs> I've never had a mole taken off yet. You have? How's your personal life? What do you mean? Stress. Stress. Diarrhea. Ugh. I just want something for my stomach because I could quit going to the bathroom. Emodium. You just need Emodium. What'd you do to your head? Did you fall again? Bangs it on the medicine chest. Don't worry about it. It's nothing. He thinks it's gonna be cancer. What do you do it for? You just took part of her art, dude. <laughs> Irritable bowel syndrome? Why don't you yell at me to go to the doctor? I gotta know every detail? <sighs> My Aunt Josephine had colon cancer. A whole asshole rotted out. Lovely. I've been having trouble with my stomach. That's why I'm drinking white Russians. Well, you got ulcers already? Because milk is going to help it? <laughs> He's such a good father. I wish my dad had been like that. <laughs> Bonding. No, it's hard. I'm sorry. Have a nice trip. I love you. Call me. She's got diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Someone tells me the cocaine doesn't help that. You don't snort it up your butt. Uh, I respect that some guy from New York, so. No problem. I got She's getting closer to Tony, huh? Well, at least I can pour a glass of wine without him giving me the expression. <laughs> yeah, I know that look. The, uh, the constipated owl. The... Hmm? <laughs> no, it's, it's a round thing in the middle. I don't like the flirtation happening here. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Makes me feel really uncomfortable. Don't. Nope. No, no. No, no. No, no. Don't do it. Oh. Back at Melfi's? He's got to talk about his cancer. Mm -hmm. I always think. Really? Yeah. Having sex with your mistress's cousin, like the mistress wasn't enough to piss off your wife. <laughs> I was thinking with the wrong head that time. I could do it right this time. I could start a whole new family. What? He's not in love with Adriana. It would be like committing an act of symbolic incest. Yeah. You could tell her she means a great deal to you, but you think of her as a daughter. Even if I want to f*** her brains out. <laughs> yeah, don't say that out loud, though. 
Just tell me what I'm supposed to do. You have to be honest with yourself. I know this is a powerful urge, but if you can't keep it in your pants, you have to stay away from her. I recall you used the words drop dead gorgeous about me and how you had to have me. I know, he's just over that now. See if you can remain a, a friend to this woman. A help to her. So you gonna take that advice? I think it's gonna try. Listens. He's kind of attractive. Definitely an alpha male. Oh no. She's gonna be like, you need to. I love Christopher, and sooner or later we're gonna get out from under all this shit and leave the state. No, you're not. She's a good looking woman, and she wants to fuck Barney Rubble. We really don't know him. He listens. Okay. No, there's something sexy about Tony. Tony? Yeah, there's, I mean, there's something. Oh, they were talking about Christopher, called Christopher Barney Rubble. Oh. oh, no, maybe they're not. Yeah. Well, why I'm here, Patsy's bringing somebody by. I'm going to need to use the office. He's definitely more of a Fred than a Barney. Yeah. You want a belt? What I could really use is some... <laughs> I wouldn't say no. Get me motivated to clean the house before Christopher gets back. Took them all out. Is that how you can be motivated to clean the house? Cocaine, huh? <laughs> We had, to, we had to get you some. So. Don't, don't get any ideas. <laughs> kidding. Kidding. You know who you ought to introduce me to is that friend of yours. The one you brought over to the house that time. Tall, kind of blondish, brownish hair. Danielle from Woodford. The undercover gal. <laughs> she, she's she's in the FBI. Yeah. She, she dr drowned on a picnic. She's dead. It's just a raccoon. Tony has a thing for animals, though. I hope they're okay. I've reviewed your chart and ruled out internal injuries. So... It's the hospital oh, sound. Okay, it's like <laughs> it's our, our kids screaming. It was a raccoon in the road? I swerved. He's coming home today. We should probably talk about that. Is he dead? I well, think he's probably wondering. Chris is going to be wondering why they were driving in a car together. How you doing? I hit the f mother load. Uh -oh. Dope. Dope. Apparently, they swerved to avoid a deer in the road. They? Car and Tony. Tony, is he all right? Not a scratch. Good luck on this guy. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Dover. Right. She's got an aunt. She's close to out there who's been sick. Why were they going to Dover? That's a weird place to be going. I mean, it's still fairly close to New Jersey, but yeah. But he said he was she, he was taking her home. Busting my ass with a bunch of rednecks making a living to buy you alcohol and coke. And all the other shit you shovel into your mouth. So you're mad about it? <laughs> Nothing was going on, Christopher. I should have made you walk home. I swear to God. You know how this looks? Looks pretty bad. It was a weird place for them to be going. Right? Uh -huh. Adriana, okay? Fine. People who don't clean up after their pets. Ew. Pop this in that basket for me, will you? You got shit in your garbage can. Well, so this is my fault now. Nothing happened, and I'm not going to say it again. Everybody knows you've been the biggest coo sound around the past four or five years. Your midlife crisis, you <laughs> catches me. <laughs> oh, jeez. On my children. There's nothing going on between me and Adriana. Does Chrissy still not believe him? Maybe he believes I'm gonna be so pissed about it. Because of the optics of it, right? Yeah. Adriana suffered a severe blow to the head. Adriana got caught giving a big guy a blowjob. Oh, jeez. <sighs> the statistics show that most single car fatalities are the result of guys popping their load behind the wheel. <laughs> a little game of telephone going on here. Holy s***. 
Guess who went down on Tony Soprano? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Wait, how'd the FBI find out? Don't know. Wiretap. When Christopher was in rehab, she was calling me all the time. I was this close. And you got a problem. It was him calling her. <laughs> Chrissy, for Christ's sake, f all of you. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey. Uh oh. oh please. You want me to use your bitch? You're fing killing me. No, I don't. I love you. Dude? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I never want to see you again. Uh oh. Well, the f was that? Off the wagon now. Get you a day early, huh? I'll go to the store in the morning. Look, relax. Right, go whatever you want. She's such a pleasant teenager. Should be happy we don't have boys. God, he's a legit ass. Son? Christopher's upset. That's all. He could come over. He could say some things that a kid shouldn't hear. Just please leave. I don't even want to look at you. <laughs> she didn't do anything. It's the it's optics. <laughs> He's taking the pizza. <laughs> Oh, lovely. He still got his old car? Yeah, he probably had that in the garage or something somewhere. Tony Saragusa? Didn't look, that looked like Tony Saragusa, didn't it? Are they gonna kill Christopher? You sent me to North Carolina so you can f my girlfriend. What kind of f animal you think I am? She's your fiance, first of all. How do you tell me right now that you can take it into your heart that I did not do this? Shit? Well, this is as far as we go. Tony, come on, listen to somebody else for a change. Him. Tony. It's Tony's way. And I just finished a 17-hour rotation. Any gunshot wounds or broken kneecaps? <laughs> was that a hint of I what could it, happen? I think it was a threat. <laughs> For instance, if she was wearing a seatbelt, then there would have been abrasions to the lateral anterior aspect of the clavicle, wouldn't there? Or the right mid-sternum? Are you a physician? No, I'm a pre-board certified massage therapist. <laughs> Black boy process, which would indicate an upright position at the moment of impact. Okay, so what he's saying is that she was sitting up. What do you want from me? I guess I believe you. <laughs> Even if it wasn't true, it's what people think. They know you were out there scoring coke with her. Well, I gotta live in the world. And now I look like Joe Jerkoff. That's what he's most worried about. Nobody respects him now, because I think the boss hmm. got his girl. That I gotta live with this swirling around me? You. You think I have sexual relations with her? Adriana is gonna be a member of this family? <laughs> She's like, yeah, I think you'd do that. <laughs> you think I would go near that girl like that? Thank you. I'm asking you to pull with me to put a good face on this thing. For the sake of the kids and, the, and this family. I gotta bail you out. You really got that she said no from that yeah, look? apparently. So she really doesn't think he would have done it? I believe that she probably knows he didn't do that. Christ. Look at all excited. Most of it's from the accident. Most of it. If it would have been Christopher alone in a car with a woman... I would have killed him. That's an interesting perspective, huh? Uh -huh. So she's not... She's forgiven her. him. She's not hurt at all at what Chris did to her. Which is psychotic. Because he beat the sh out of her. This is what Tony asked her to do. Go yeah. to dinner. Save face. Arthur's sending something over with his compliments. Thank you. 
Tony even brought his mom. Vita's gonna go apologize to Chris. Or is Chris gonna apologize to him? Hope you have a pleasant evening. All is forgiven. Tony's very appreciative of Carmela. Absolutely, doing that. absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, affair averted. Jesus. The affair that never happened. Yeah, I mean it, that episode did a great job of just showing how doesn't matter what the truth is; mm -hmm. it's what people think. It's about the perception. Yeah. Yep. Right? It's about the what optics the people of it think. all. Yep. That is the way that it is in life, too. Right. Unfortunately. So do you think the rest of the family gets the picture with that? I would say, down? yeah, that was a statement. That nothing happened. Statement being, shut your fucking mouths. Yeah. Nothing actually happened. We're all family here. Okay. That was a good episode. That yeah. was kind of, I liked the whole... Intense. Yeah. The build up and then the, the whole telephone and well, having to deal with all school. that. and That close to Tony having to shoot Chris. And I thought he was a goner, to be honest. And then cousin tony's like let's try something else instead yeah. there you go all right well let's jump into the next episode no other thoughts no nope. let's watch some more sopranos let's do it the gabagoo excuse you I'm trying to cop a feel on camera no if i wanted to cop a feel i'd just do it <laughs> get a fuzz on you sure I just noticed that the uh, actress that plays Meadow has a different last name. She must have got married in between oh. season four and five. That's fun. What's Lewis up to today? Louise. Oh, great. Ouch. Yowch. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, it's right on the knee, too. So, like, every time you walk, it's gonna be... Don't really want that to scab over. So, Bandino, why are you f***ing me like this? I you if I no need Tony Soprano for union. Not for him. I show you the window. Cool. <laughs> want no juice either? I told you, write it down. Dad, don't you just feel like smacking him around a little bit? Dad coming home drunk sounds like you. What the f did you say to me? What the f told me? For what? One of these days, you wait. I'm going to kick the f ass. What's wrong with right now, then? Huh? What's wrong with right now? Come on! I got nothing. Yeah, I mean, show a little gratefulness, right? He is feeding you. Kid's an ass. What's she getting dolled up for? Holy, what the? Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. Welcome Whoa, back to okay. Yumi and the Cleavage. Holy moly. This guy, Anthony's English teacher. And, uh, well, it His counselor? Really? I went on that dinner date. Plagiarism. He thinks my son cheated? I think it's obvious what's going on here. Anyone else shows sudden improvement, he gets a gold star. My son gets his act together and suddenly he's a cheater? Did Meadow help him with it? <laughs> Possibly. Can't do justice to any discussion of Madame Bovary over the phone. That's the thing, though. That book was way over my head. <laughs> Going to break his son's teacher's legs. Not to mention how that would play in the admissions office at Arizona State. You don't know Tony very well. <laughs> Gwen just told us how you met. They let you use the internet in a can? They let you post an ad. Did he do a dating site while in prison? Did they have those back then? It's probably a prison matchmaking yeah. something. They call it bunk buddies or something. 
suddenly we both realized that there were certain feelings. And I like him as a person, too, of course. Don't get me wrong. You know, if you really want to discuss this, I think we should include Tony in the conversation as well. Oh, geez. And for that matter, if this is wrong, why did God put this man in my life? Is it God that put him there? Or is there a particular need you have right now? See, I never understand this. Didn't he put the need there? <laughs> or is it temptation, right? I mean... Blessed in prison. But i become just Suzunka, the boss. That's why I try to help you. Help me how? What are you talking about? I stake you the money in the storefront. Is he like Korean mafia or something? No, I think he's just saying I'll invest in your business. You pass tests, then you, me, and my daughter, we make the big success journey. She's gonna open a massage parlor for him. I, I don't know what to say, Kim. Thanks. Why the change of heart? Yesterday he hated him. Because he realized he was wrong about him. He didn't steal the, the truck. Maybe I don't want to live in a place where people use violence against children. Violence? You're lucky I didn't put my shoe up your ass. <laughs> I can call social services and they'll send a caseworker. Go ahead, he'll get the other shoe. <laughs> this is demoralizing. Well, now, maybe you that see. That a son of mine would even consider calling in the authorities. I know. He's threatening you. I mean, it's funny, I thought I was the problem. I make you miserable, remember? Well, I never said that. You did. Absolutely. Turns out you're just a miserable person. So you'll treat me with respect. Is that it? Nightly hugs. <laughs> All right. Go get your stuff for the car. He just wants to walk over his mom again. I think his time over there with me whipped him into shape a little. Just made him appreciate what his mom does for him. Why do piss and shit and f all happen within a two inch radius? Everybody asks that, Paulie. There's no answer for it. They're all sources of pleasure, though. Get the f out of here. <laughs> Sun Yun Kim, my boss, he's gonna back me on a whole storefront operation. Kareem? You're looking for money. Why not come to me? Oh, this is different. Word to the wise. Remember Pearl Harbor. <laughs> what? <laughs> Polly? Is he thinking Kim is Japanese? Yeah, it must be. He's Korean. Madame Bovary. It's the first edition. Well, modern libraries, first edition. She didn't like it. But inside, she has these extremes of boredom and exhilaration. I should try it again. He's saying, I'm boring, but I can also be really exciting sometimes. That's what he's saying. I'm trying to draw the parallels. I'm feeling like some teenager, which was, believe it or not. Making out in a car. I haven't been with anyone. You're a virgin. This is my lucky night. <laughs> That escalated quickly. AJ's probably like... They're at his house, not hers. Oh, okay. Sinner! <laughs> That's probably what she's got going on in the back of her mind, though, you know. Didn't stop her, though. <laughs> You, me, and the booty. Her ass looked great, too, right? Almost as good as yours. I don't think mine looks that good. Looks. Mm. Education should never stop. It enriches all aspects of life. That's why I never stop learning. What are you learning today? Nothing today. She feels guilty. Oh, yeah. The grenade's gone. She's afraid now that she's slept with somebody else that Tony's going to come and try and kill her. But where did the grenade go? <laughs> Remember the grenade that was in there and the bear? Yeah, but maybe the just props department forgot to put it back in. 
I'm only authorized to inform you that your score meets or exceeds the required minimum for licensure. Meets or exceeds. <laughs> oh my God, look at you. You did it, baby. He you studied really hard for that. License tests suck, too. It's been a month since my last confession. Carmella? I had sex with that man. I know we talked about commitment, but something in me has been reawakened. Your sexual desire. When now? When you're too old to walk to the bathroom, will he be there to help you? What, and you think Tony will? I know. That's right. I think Tony would. I think he'd pay somebody to be there for her. <laughs> Not only that God will touch his heart, but that he'll touch yours as well. Oh, he's not nice. They almost had an affair, right? Uh, yeah. He's being kind of nasty. I came by to get the keys. I would have gone by the laundry, but my dad's such a hard on at work. Tell me about it. Uh oh. Hey, you believe there's a dog groomer there in case somebody needs a snack? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's his job to get you into college. Or maybe he's just a big. Could be. Could be. It's amazing, isn't it? Uh oh. Don't go. Don't. Don't go check it out. It's probably drugs or something. Oh my god! Don't. Oh, that is bad news. Bears for him. Cops are gonna be here on the corner. Honey, your parole. Happy? Come on. Now it's just a bag of money. Plus, that was a drop. Which money before? It's gotta be 10, 12 grand. Look at this. You're doubly blessed. This makes me nervous. But you should put it into the business. See, I gotta start thinking like that. It's a learning curve. That's a good woman. I'm not going to do this by myself. How are you going to finish this paper? It's not going to write itself. Did she write his last paper? <laughs> I can't believe she thought it was a baby. Ooh, welcome on back to you mean the boobies. <sighs> I can't believe he would do this. Neither can I. Considering how tidy is with money. That's not what I meant. What? Oh, you think he bought this? God damn it. <laughs> Hello? I was just laying here thinking about you. Oh, cold mountain. It's a good one. Dinner and a little night swimming. Right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Tony. Everybody's a f to you. You know, maybe you're a f You ever think about that? Can I help it if I know one when I see one? No, oh, really? <laughs> what part of hell did you say they go to there with the abortion doctors? Going for a swim? What the f are you doing? Going for a swim. <laughs> That's some beautiful suit. I had to get it. It went with the shoes. Oh, good. You just blew all of your money. It's just like you. Got a little bit of money? Spend it. I have thought about this all day. You know, I almost called you from the faculty parking lot. Oh, Bob. What? Stop. Bob. I can't right now. I'm sorry. I'm too upset. Oh, he's been thinking about it all day. You realize under the laws of the church, I am still married? The church? Oh. Guilt is getting the best of her. Is that going to be the last time he sees her? I don't think or so. Or she sees him? It's a D plus. Tom, cut him a break. So what does it mean to the kid who really breaks his ass in here? A Fredo Corleone can get a C because you asked. Is that what this is about? Called him Fredo, too. <laughs> English teachers. You see, regular people need a place to relax, too. They can't just hop on a plane to the Bahamas, right? Well, he bought them Game Boys. <laughs> Come on, do your homework. Where? I don't know. You're on the floor over there. The floor? Like any other normal kid? He's got to throw the kid at the wall. He 
must have got a C minus. Mm -hmm. So maybe you could tell them how he's a lot like you were when you were his age. Maybe you could bring up the fact that he has ADD because it's not the stigma it once was. That's true. Are you just using him now to get your kid into college? That's just the way that Carmela is. Like, she's always busy headed about. What's the matter? You okay? Maybe we should take a time out. What? Really? Why? I think you're a user, Carmela. What? Maybe you saw an opportunity in me and you just took what you needed. Oh, that is not true. I am here because I enjoy being with you. Yeah, you're right. She's just got a busy mind that mm -hmm. doesn't turn and she vocalizes. Asking someone you're with for help be using them. That's what people do. That's what Tony always understood about her. <laughs> degree. Leaving me with a massive heart on the other night and then practically attacking me sexually after you got what you wanted. Maybe it was just coincidental. Yeah. That's just how women are. It's when true. It's true. We, our mind has to be They get what they it. want and they're ready. Yeah. If they're not in The in head it has mentally, to be in it. Yeah. It alleviated that stress from her mind. So mm -hmm. then she was like, oh, great. Sex, she has like nothing sex. else to think about. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why you didn't stay married the first time. I'm proud of you for understanding this. <laughs> Doesn't mean I like it. You blew the whole 12 grand? What are you, stupid? I got 400 left. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Wrong shoes for the event. Get Rudy's truck. Maybe I have a brain tumor. Honey, you don't. This headache in my jaw. I read it in Time magazine. You're just tired. He's been getting no sleep because he's been. Party. Dicking around. Park, you go to Plummer. Right over here. Where's the Caldwell? West Caldwell. West Caldwell. West Caldwell. Oh. Don't insult the man we open in that is day, huh? paying for this, you dumbass. Fucking oh. creature! Oh, you fucking laundry! Oh, fucking day! Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. Well, there is... goes that opportunity, huh? He lost his job and his future. Hmm. Good thinking. Whatever I say, whatever I do, because I was married to a man like Tony, my motives will always be called into question. Well. Well, see you later. <laughs> That's like, not sure what to say about that. You mentioned you might need someone to run the swag airbags. Just throwing it all away. Everything you worked for. Tony's looking at him like, I knew this would happen. Tony's not going to just front him the money to open his own massage parlor? I think he's got to work for that. Dang. I'm so disappointed in him. <laughs> yeah. He was just... He's this close. Threw it all away. Because yeah, he, was, he got was... $12,000 and couldn't well, fucking control that, himself. That $12,000 was like... Easy money. No, it brought out the worst in him because he just... It's like, oh, I got some money right now. I, don't, I can... Do whatever the fuck I want. He has like a, a tendency to, I guess, just spend. Hmm. And uh, decided to go partying and spend it all. And it was taking away his sleep and his thinking, and then he exploded. Sweet. Thanks for breaking that down for me. Yeah. Uh, you didn't get that? Well, what's on your mind after that? I'm sad for Carmela because I don't think she intended intentionally yeah, it's just was trying to use him. Yeah, I think you're She's right. always thinking about other things. Yeah. I think it was probably coincidental. Although, if it was her being a user, it could have been like learned from all of those years with Tony, right? Um, like, but at the same time, like, what else is she going to talk about with that guy? That's true. They Other have than, very um, little in common. <laughs> the things that they do have in common are her son and yeah. trying to help him get better grades. He's so. a guidance counselor. <laughs> <laughs> the conflict of interest should have gave him red flags to begin with. Well, yeah, obviously. 
Right? You don't date the mother of a kid you're trying to help get into college, right? Not usually. So what do you think Tony's, you think uh, Cousin Tony's going to be neck deep in the business now? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work out. Yeah. I think he'll eventually get his own massage parlor. I don't on, know. I feel bad for, for him. Side. feel bad that he had to lose his shit like that. Yeah. Just what a dumb dumb. The last person I guess he wanted to see that day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pushed him right over the edge. Yeah. Probably another thing was like he was doing all of the renovations for that place and had nobody helping him. It wasn't really his yet, right? He hadn't really completed making it his own thing. So, well, what should people comment on after these two episodes? Is Carmela a user? Is or Carmela a user? Or is that just her just personality her and the coincidence of that's what else are they going to talk about? Right. Right. What do you guys think? Yeah. Let us know in the comments below. That's right. Also, like, comment, subscribe if you have not done it already. Yeah, and check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full and company, or access to polls, subs, people we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. How's he got an Emmy and no job? All you gotta do is one, write one good episode of television. That's all. I can do that. <laughs>
Different perspectives. We were skeptical at first. Then his mood really improved. His memory too. Oh, he's sweating so much. You see the collar of his shirt. Summer funerals. Excuse me. Hi. Oh, hello. So his dad's Guma. I was a friend of your father's. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, you'll have to forgive me my hearing uh, the last few years. What? You know, Johnny told me if I ever needed anything, I should always call his son. What do you need? Yeah, no, do you need something? <laughs> Grand Feldstein. That was class. Got great legs for an old broad. I was in <laughs> love with that woman. She never knew my feelings. What could I do? For years, I suffered in silence. It's never too late. Right? She looks single. You sing, Junior. Nobody wants to hear me. Mario, remember? Felice di stare lassù. Did he sing it like the last funeral? Yeah. <laughs> I blew a deadline on a Nash Bridges. I got my ass fired. I didn't work for 18 months. With the help of some good friends that I made there, uh, I got through it. There's my man Chris, everybody. It's like Christopher's, like he's his advisor, you think? AA advisor, whatever. Sponsor, that's what they're called. Sponsor, that's what I yeah. He got from this woman what he couldn't get at home. Do you think that justifies his infidelity? She drove him into that woman's arms, my mother. To all his women. Did Carmela drive you into the arms of another woman? Because Carmela doesn't seem bad at all. Here I am comforting my father's mistress. My mother's lying there. <laughs> oh, she's old enough to be my mother. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's an expression. Don't cream yourself. <laughs> you know, you can call me anytime, right? What do you got, a date? I got to meet somebody, a friend. You think they actually make the pancakes at, like, IHOP? Denny's? Do you think they actually make them on site? Or do you think they're just, like, frozen pancakes that they just warm up? They're probably made on site. I've never been able to make a pancake that well. Yeah. Like that consistent without burning it or getting it too hot in one spot and not in the other. I mean, you can't call yourself International House of Pancakes and serve frozen pancakes. I mean, the grocery store sells donuts that have been frozen that they just like reheat and. Yeah. I think I met him at a barbecue once for the bicentennial. All they can say is no. He's trying to find funerals so that he can get out of his house arrest by going to other people's funerals. Because he had so much fun. It's Corrado. Doesn't that look like Corrado? That's his dog. No, no, no. The dog. Oh. Freckles. <laughs> he was a gift from your dad. What? <laughs> uh, when? Oh, this is my fucking dog. <laughs> At least he didn't go to the gas chamber. Yeah, better than killing him. Your mom probably hated the dog. Your dad had to get rid of it. I, he had him for almost ten years till he moved to Tel Aviv. Then I had to put him to sleep. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so maybe not Corrado's son. Listen, after we eat, you want to take a ride? Where are they going? Don't know. I don't know if you know it, but he was always a little hot for you. He was practically a stalker. <laughs> what is it? This one for the road, honey. This looks like road to me. Remy Martin, VSOP. Oh. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Scotch. Now I just want to go to the Speedway. Oh, boy. Haven't gone this summer. I was meeting a girl. We were going to the track, the Meadowlands. I didn't want to miss the last race. I am totally clean and sober. I was positive you fucking slipped. Thank you, man. I appreciate your concern. 
Now he's just addicted to gambling. <laughs> At that fake guinea fest with Paul Sorvino? That was totally unrealistic. <laughs> That's kind of a funny statement, isn't it? Didn't Paul Savino just recently pass? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rest in peace. Ooh. What? I see you. I'm fucking busy. You're never too busy to call me at 2 a.m. to hear your problems, though. One time that happened. <laughs> My therapist was on vacation. <laughs> Something about her always rubbed me the wrong way. Maybe because she was rubbing him and not you. How long you know me, Bob, huh? You're a little pale for my taste. <laughs> <laughs> Five hours. It's not a Hawaiian vacation. He'll attend the church service, then pay his respects to the family afterwards. Thank you, counselor. We appreciate it. Loophole. You worth every fucking cent. <laughs> He used to hate funerals. He just likes wearing his pinstripes with his, in his black suit. Hey, look where we're at. Bada bing. Well, welcome on back to you, me and the Bada Bings. I was thinking I'd go check out that Indian casino, play some poker. You want in a real game, I'll hook you up. High stakes, exclusive clientele. David Lee Ross. That was that one guy we didn't recognize. Yeah. I only know what he looks like from the 80s, not 2000s. I don't even know who he is. No, I know. I just wanted to see if I could get high like a normal person. You're not normal. Neither of us are. And on top of that, you asked me to meet you at a bar? It's a strip joint. The drinks are optional. Right, take it easy. Take it easy. Fuck that. This ain't the 70s. And I'm not a kid. Relax, it's an expression. Well, here's another expression. You got five days to give me my money. Come on. Uh oh. Billy, he's a boss. Jersey? Come on, huh? <laughs> Rude. <laughs> yeah, it's not like Connecticut. It's Jersey. Check out the initials. JFK? Holy shit. We had a little thing. When he was president? March 61, right before the Bay of Pigs. It's not that impressive. He kind of had a thing with lots of people. Consider this an advance. Get your phone turned on and pay your rent. So he's just doing this out of the kindness of his heart? Yeah, I think she's kind of working him, but that's all right. Whatever. What's the point of that? That's why we don't have any weird posters in our bedroom. <laughs> no artwork, no distractions. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only artwork in our bedroom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Got one. <laughs> Some flowers. Sal from the dry cleaners. This kid died. Drowned in a jacuzzi. Seven years old. You believe it? Fucking tragedy. <laughs> God, Junior. <laughs> We gotta be related somewhere down the line. Corrado. Corrado, my balls. I gotta get out of this house. She's having too much fun at these funeral parties. Shouldn't have medicated him. <laughs> he was more docile when he was medicated. You still here? Called the old day yesterday. We were in a hand here. Vito's still there too. <laughs> yeah, his addiction has just changed. Her tens. Flush. Caught it on the river. He went in on all in on a pair of tens? That's not something you go all in on. He, he didn't have much less. So. Thousand? How much? I don't know, I missed it. You were talking. So were you. It was like it was like fifty. Hey, you think you could spot me for a while? I, I got some child support too. Oh, God. I'll cover this. I'll give you three grand for incidentals. That's sixty thousand altogether. Oh. He asked him if he wanted to leave. There he is, Billy. Bill. Ooh. Hey, Tony, I gotta meet John down the restaurant. You fucking cocksucker. 
the disrespect on this guy. Shh. What is Tony gonna do to him? Jesus. Jesus Christ, Mister, you okay in there? Oh. <laughs> no, I can't hear you. No, no, please, Tony. Oh, oh. You got twenty-four hours. That case of whiplash. We should go, Junior. Relax. We just got here. Chicken's nice and spicy, huh? <laughs> He's so embarrassing. <laughs> How's that writing going? It's gotta be put on the staff first. I got out of that business because people fuck you over. John Favreau, <laughs> sucker tried to steal my ideas. <laughs> he did try to steal a script. Get a load of these. My new kicks, Bottega Veneta, marked down to only six hundred. Thought you were paying your phone bill. Um, I should have. I know. Seventy years they would have had her. Poor guy's taking it very hard. I feel like she didn't know who she was. He was talking about. JT, by the way. This is fucking Pulp Fiction. Am I supposed to be afraid? Yeah. I don't know. I didn't see it. He's gonna kick your ass. What could you possibly do to me that I haven't already been through? I'm positive we'll think of something. <laughs> Oh, not the Doctor Strange love poster. We take comfort knowing they're together. He's breathing. <laughs> He's water. breathing in there. Right, what? <laughs> you can see his chest raising. <laughs> Hey. Is he upset about the deaths that he's never had love or like I, I don't he's know. tired of the only way of getting out of his house is a funeral? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I could give him something, an Academy Award, a TV. <laughs> How's he got an Emmy and no job? All you gotta do is one, write one good episode of television. That's all. I can do that. <laughs> yeah, this is the money from the closing. The racetrack. It's 150 grand. That's great. It's all going to be gone in a week. Yeah. I offered to stop. I mean, and he didn't want me to. He was fine with it, really. All right, whatever. <laughs> Finish your story. It was dumb. Your dad got the guy to give us some champagne. It's all starting to click to him that she's just a user. Uh, may I? Yeah. Oh. Isn't that the hat he wears when he's on the Stugats? Mm-hmm. Happy birthday to you. To you, Mr. President. <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday. Oh, it's so uncomfortable, this angle, right? This To you? Yep. Direct angle. Uh -oh. What's going through Tony's mind there? He's like, what the fuck am I doing here? You're gonna use, why didn't you call your sponsor? I couldn't get him. So why the fuck didn't you call me? You kicked his ass. Hey, it's Anthony, you don't believe me. Where were you last night, Anthony? We were at Cousin Jimmy's, Ma. His mom probably held a huge grudge for knowing that Tony lied for his dad to her. Could right? be. Book value 17 grand. I'll knock that off the principal. Love this car. So you'll get another one. Well, Christopher's got a new BMW. <laughs> it's valued only at $17,000. She was JFK's girlfriend for like three years. No shit. Right, I remember hearing about her. For a while there, 
Jackie Kennedy thought the marriage was over. Now he's glorifying her. Why is he doing that? Something to bullshit to the guys about. Strengthen his father's legacy. It's weird. I don't understand the psychology behind that. Well, that's why he sees a shrink and you don't. Guess so. Yeah. All right. Well, an old flame of his father's. Mm. Who was? You think he? She was just playing Tony to get some money. I think she's just. I mean, yeah. Right. I mean, maybe not intentionally at the beginning, but. She, she saw an opportunity, and when he started hanging out with a little, a little bit more, she time. definitely capitalized on an opportunity. Okay, yeah. Well, what else is on your mind after the that episode? Christopher with his uh, AA buddy. Mm-hmm. Now, <laughs> it's his addiction went from drugs and alcohol to gambling. And yeah, then I mean, at least it's not Christopher that's having that problem. The the parallels there from the writing though is like. You go to AA for the the chemical drugs, but there's also the gambling that's an addiction. But there's no... Can you go to AA for gambling addictions? I mean, I think they have specific... Gambling addictions. Yes, yeah. but the I think the steps are the same. Yeah. Like, I think the overall process is the same. Yeah, they should have... It's uh, still about working the steps, I think. Yeah, so they should have uh, made the connection themselves that you're just addicted to gambling now. Yeah. Right? It's just new drug, so well, back to rehab he goes. Yep. All right. Well, should we move on to the next episode? Let's do it. Let's watch more Sopranos. Here we go. Look at me. Okay, so the fuzz on my nose. Uh-huh. It's distracting me. I'm trying to look at you. Sorry. Like a booger on your nose. Oh, gosh. That would have been embarrassing. God, you have so good. Classic rock station. Q1043. Look. There's only one classic rock station in New York? You just about smell the salt. You mean the painting or the view? Oh, God. It was done by an artist right over here in West Hempstead. I'll be damned. Oh. Off. Daddy! Daddy! The boat is sinking! Uh oh. You should call the Coast Guard, Carmine. Johnny Sachs strikes again. <laughs> uh oh. Oh shit. Okay, take it easy. He landed in the bushes. At that age, though. Yeah. I don't want to miss him. He's going to be all right. Maybe we should cancel the party. I don't, maybe he'll be fine by his birthday. You know, he's turning 75, Ma. That's a oh milestone. God, God, it's 75. Oof. His roofing days are over. I'll tell you that right now. I guess, huh? At 75, he shouldn't have been on the freaking roof. Why don't they take care of this man? <laughs> Probably has a kidney stone. Could be. Or appendicitis. Well, it set you back about uh, 99 inch change. You're spending like you're already on the throw. Yeesh. You don't have collision insurance, fucking Phil? Your son-in-law's a broker. They let it lapse looking for a better rate. Whoops. <sighs> Fucking thing so powerful. I had to take a lesson from the dealer last night. I think Alvicho still mowing this guy's lawn. <laughs> Pretty low. Take squeeze for a big oh, fella. Like the car. She loves it. But she hasn't driven with me yet. With her knees, she has a little trouble getting into the seat. <sighs> yeah. Buckle up. They gonna get it up to 176? You think? No. No. That uh, anything you can do to keep costs in line would be a big help to me. <laughs> Have a seat. Oh boy. 
May I get you anything? Garbage can? Kamara's going to start cleaning up after him in a second. I think I would. Well, I'd, I'd like to contribute anyway. Oh, Mom and I are taking care of it. For you, 70 feet, I insist. You know, I would rather see you go back to your therapist. I'd like to see you go to a therapist. And I'm not the only Open one. up the therapist. It's a touchy subject. No, but we go way back to when Moses wore short pants. I better call you. Tell him not to expect me. It's a surprise party, Joe. What are we, children? <laughs> uh oh. Anyway, at our age, it's enough surprise. We're still alive every morning. Yeah, so true. Carmel's gonna think that Tony told Junior that they're not invited. Though. Something. Corrado, how are you? How am I? I'm a prisoner in my own home, Hughes. How are you? <laughs> Cool. What do you need? <laughs> Jubilee. But the federal government says I can't leave the house and my family keeps me sedated. What a dickhead. Our age, it's enough surprise every day when we get up in the morning, right? <laughs> uh, I suppose so. I wasn't sure what uh, his emotional response to finding out about his party was. I'm not sure either. If he was happy that somebody was throwing him a party or like upset that somebody yeah, told him. I don't, I don't know either. I am that person, though, that... You'd want to be told that there was a surprise party? Yes, and I spoil the surprise for people. Like, to try to do a surprise for, like, my mom one year, I told her. She hates surprises. Mm -hmm. I would never put her through that. I was like, dude, they're having a party for you. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend to be surprised. I did a situation. I went, I so calm. I told her I thought it'd be best if I sit it out. Is he still going, though? Looks like it. Something's off with the seat. What is it, Phil? Feels off kilter. Try he doesn't even sit in that seat. <laughs> I know all about it. You can save the cloak and dagger. AJ. Huh? What? Junior Soprano told me all about it. That miserable fucking man. Oh. <laughs> in my age, it's surprise enough to be able to get out of bed every morning. Papa Russ shook hands with Andrew Cuomo. What an honor. BFD. <laughs> BFD. <laughs> he had such a bad case of the crabs, we used to call him the governor of Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie DeNovi. Tony will love him. Uh-oh. He wants Tony there. Why won't he come? Well, I felt that uh, since we're separated... Oh, that's a crock of shit. You don't talk to her like that. Fine, I'll cancel the party. Yeah, go right the head ahead, because I'm not coming if the man of the house isn't there. Oh. <laughs> it's his party. He'll cry if he wants to. <laughs> yeah. Tony, it's You Andrew. gotta come now. We all the repairs you said on Phil's car. He came today, and now we found a dent in the rear. Yeah, I need to know... Yeah, I'm not there. What do I know? It's your call. She needs to know if you're gonna cover the fucking costs, you prick. Tone, what's up? Pussy's body shop is one of your stops, right? Right. I'll take care of it. Thanks. What about way to Welsh Farms? Got a triple blueberry Sunday. Mmm. <laughs> Go for it. You deserve it. <laughs> Thanks for waking me up. So he's going to be there when Phil picks up his car? Sounds like it. Get out! Get out! <laughs> <laughs> He was not impressed. <laughs> well, yeah, I could use a little cash injection. We need something done. Uh-oh. And an opportunity for you to hone that rep you left behind. A hit. Is it going to... Johnny? New York guy, not Jersey. Yep. Friend of Johnny's. Oh, was it Phil, then? It's not the boat. It's not the boat. It's because oh, Phil cause shot. No, it's revenge for the, the their sister or the woman. Yeah, I don't think so. But thanks, guys. Hmm. That was jumping in the deep end for him. Mm -hmm. no, he's very fond of you. The New York sausage, hickory wood, whatever. I don't know. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate it. Tony's going to knock the sausages out of the park. <laughs> Carmel's going to want them back. 
No? I don't think so. Hey, Kong. Tony. I know you're short-handed. Uh, I thought you might need some help around here today. He went to help? It's a beach chair. It shouldn't get wet. Don't get smart. You want to go home? No, we have cake. Jeremy, just why don't you take a swim? I know you're hot. Do you have a towel? Cake pan? No, no, I have a lot to do today. Lo, I'm making dessert to help. There's a fucking cake in front of you, dude. <laughs> any luck with Kelly? No. I've been scouring the internet for any trace. What? Did he get dumped? I'm just confused. Yeah, me too. Oh, I don't know. He was just with her the other night, and so. I can imagine how much you must miss her. Your only daughter. Oh. Later for that. Get your uncle out here. He left. He said he told you he had to boat for a minute. He asked us to watch the twins. Oh, boy. Shh. If he climbs perfectly, try it. Now, fuck that. I don't feel like I'm sitting at 12 o'clock. Adjust your ass. It'll still need to be dealt with. This car went through a major collision. Is it? I think it's him he was supposed to kill. He's the one that pulled the trigger on the woman, not Phil. I don't right? know. I don't know. Jesus, God, Duke, they're hosing us for a $2,000 factory seat. Get it, just get yourself together, woman. This is like an awesome party. Russ. What? He's allergic to tomatoes. All right, so we will deal with it. Jeez. Allergic to tomatoes? <laughs> the lovely Carmela Soprano, would you like to say a few words? Oh, he's back, thank God. Will you get the guests arriving? See, now where the hell is Tony? He is bringing the charcoal and the sausage. He's always got to wait till the last minute. I heard that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, happy birthday to you. Got sausage for you. <laughs> 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 Russ, where do you taste this stuff? There's nothing else like it. It's wrapped around his neck. It's gonna be delicious. Nice to meet you. My son-in-law? Well, whatever. Tony Soprano. Carmella's dad really likes it. I know, him. he likes him. I like it. <laughs> Love to stay in chat, but I got a fire to start. Nice to meet you, Doc. Nice to meet you. I wonder if that guy's nervous because he's a government guy and this t knows Tony's a mobster. Salute. Hello. 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 You are the greatest, my little Melly. Uh, it's a box full of sausage. Looks like a gun. Oh. It's beautiful. A Beretta. Oh. What time do you start drinking today? Probably right after you got up. Oh, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get a shot of this? Sure, I got nothing better to do. You got it, kid. <laughs> 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 Jesus, Tony. <laughs> Guts and butts, that's all he's getting. <laughs> Carmella's gonna be pissed. <laughs> and you know, I've been to the Beretta studio in Russia. Sure, the best pieces. They never export this. Rude. How's that look? Done? You're the grill meister. Telling you. His skills on the grills. She's considered taking them back. <laughs> Can we get some able bodied semen over here? Tony B? <laughs> he's just shit faced. She's overusing Tony because he showed up early and dumped his kids. Yeah. Put the gun back in the box. He's such a diplomat. He insults his host. You heard what he said to Tony. He's a pompous man. He always was. Let's talk about this another time. That's why you You're drunk. Like I'm going home. No, there are Italians all around with their closet self-loathing. I just never wanted to believe my mother was one of them. And now what the fuck are you crying about? The secret is out. Ooh, she let her have it, didn't she? Wow. 
I was just absolutely right. Like, don't hang out with people who are, like, entitled yeah. buttheads. Oh, Ronnie, put me down! It looks like you could use a dip! No, don't you dump serious! No. Oh, it's happening! Oh, Tony, don't! Hold your breath! <laughs> You're it, cop. <laughs> Your whole family's in there. Just You're have fun. Marco. <laughs> Way to make lemonade out of lemons. You stole this from your cousin who opens his house to you? I found it on the floor way in back of AJ's closet. He doesn't care. Oh, no. I love where he lives. I don't want to come back here. Uh oh. Call me when you get to Patrick. Yeah, I'll try. He's in a bad cell area. I know what they're doing. Mm hmm. Just showing her he's not a kid. Uh, I think he's showing him more than that. <laughs> Can't wait to see each other. Can't keep your hands off each other. Tony, let's call it a night. Why? Come on. Marty is right over there. He's comatose. <laughs> well, you called it. In the pool. Like teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> He slept in that all night. <laughs> he has no hair. <laughs> He's like, I guess I better gather my things and go. <laughs> He'll be like, I had the weirdest dream last night. Sleep. <laughs> She's faking. I don't think so. See you next week, Joe. Cousin Tony does this hit, he's gonna it's gonna cause some drama. Yep. Hey. Tony, right? Well, you come here too. Uh, broke his foot. I love it. Tony's not gonna be uh, yeah, he that. never talked to Tony about that at all. No, he did not. And Tony's tight with Johnny. His cousin just took out one of his top guys. Oops. Oh boy. Is this going to start the war? I feel like the war's been started already. Kind yeah, of. I think this is going to escalate, though. Yeah, it could be. They were kind of just, you know, cold warring it. Hmm. Now we're back into a hot war. I guess we'll see if they go to the mattresses. And Tony did that because he wants to give his sons the the life that Tony has for yeah. his family, right? Yep. A little envy there. Tony said that he built that house. Is he meaning like he actually worked on the construction crew or like... I don't think so. I think he him has figured go, it Him going to jail. Yeah, something like that. Allowed him to move up the ranks and... Something stay, like that. Or stay out and move up the ranks. Allowed him to build that life mm -hmm. it was kind of like a almost a sweet way of saying it, but he it wasn't really i, I don't know i don't like, know exactly he what didn't he have meant. enough time to build off that one phrase i don't think so well i didn't know tony had a daughter that seems to be missing i feel like they went into it a couple episodes ago but just really vaguely yeah briefly yeah. so he, she was living with tony and so where did his sons different mothers i don't I know think? I mean, it must be because they would. She was Meadows' age. Yeah. So it must have been from a different wife. Could be. You, okay. Interesting. All right. Well, what are your thoughts? Carmela and Tony rekindling. I think their that's love. pretty common. Yeah. Yeah. Just the whole night. When her, you're so, her father's love for him. There's and, so much history and there's so much comfort in having spent so many years together that they just know each other really yeah. well. So. I imagine that that happens quite frequently. Uncle June, unbeknownstly, sets them back up. Right, yeah. <laughs> By spoiling the surprise party <laughs> for her dad. 
I think just her seeing how much her dad still loves him. Yeah, right? that has to play a role. He made that party mm-hmm. awesome for his dad, her dad, and then just seeing him be the father to Meadow there, and like that little cute moment they had. She was seeing all the good things about Tony yeah. there, and forgetting the bad for a second. So, so do you think they're gonna no. keep going down that road? I don't think or, so. Or something gonna screw it up? I d- I think it was a. One like night, a one night sort one of night yeah get together mm-hmm. okay in the moment in the heat of the moment yep it's always the pool parties spending time with your family yeah you know? just gets you right back into it right well what should people comment on after these two episodes what kind of sausages do you like favorite sausage yeah. type <laughs> I mean there's Italian sausage there's German sausage there's kielbasa there's like Every country has different, a different kinds of kind German of sausage. sausages alone. Like, yeah. oh my gosh. What's your favorite kind of sausage? What would you throw on the barbecue at a big birthday party? Yeah. Right? Let us know. There you go. Awesome. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for the Sopranos. Yep. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full link commentary, and access to polls. Helps pick what we watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. They put Pete's on his headstone. <laughs> oh, his mom's gonna be pissed. <laughs> his nickname is on his headstone. <laughs>Hey folks, welcome on back to you, me, and the TV, and it's time for some more Italian mobster family business. Sweet. What happened last time on The Sopranos? Let's see. Carmela's dad had a birthday party. Yep, he turned 75. And he basically said, if Tony's not there, I'm not coming. Yep. So Tony went and was quite the quite the entertainer. Yeah. Uh, that's really all I remember. You don't remember what happened in the pool? Oh, yeah. Tony and Carmela had a little bit of a rekindling yeah. moment. Uh, Reese. I don't know that that means anything. Sparking the relationship back up, you think? I don't think so, no. but I guess we'll see. Oh, uh, Uncle Tony did a hit. Oh, yeah. He killed uh, one of... One of the New York guys. Yeah. One of Johnny Sachs's guys. Johnny Sack, yeah. Yeah. So uh, what's next for The Sopranos? I don't know. I guess we'll have to watch to find out. Should we jump in and find out? Well, let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Sopranos if you feel like it. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentary, or access to polls, that's what people can watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Twitter and Instagram. You know. Yeah, jump in the pool with us. Let's watch The Sopranos. Here we go. Somebody camping in the backyard. Oh, he must not have AC, huh? Had a whole system. You throw to your foot. The other night, two black guys jumped me outside a bar. What happened? I'm locked up making grilled cheese. You'd think there wouldn't be so many around to make trouble. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, Tony. The car ran over his foot. Excuse me a minute. Why don't you cut your mother a break, huh? For the record, she's the one holding this family together in this current situation, I know. Will you the check, please? The young man took care of it. Well, that's got to be insulting to Tony. That's why he went to the bathroom. <laughs> I figured since you're always so, you know, generous, I should reciprocate. It is a you don't get nice gesture, but not for this guy. Mr. Soprano. Well, when you have your own family, you pay. That's how I want you to be with our kids. You eat, I pay. <laughs> <laughs> Just take the money. Yeah, take the money. <laughs> He's trying to score points. He doesn't know how, Tony. Yeah. Uh, you're a good guy. Uh, I respect you trying. 
<laughs> well, at least he's apologized. Yeah. <laughs> so, you think what happened at the party is an overture Tony wants to get back together? I don't know. Maybe. I don't think Tony's the one that wanted to break up in the first place. Yeah. It's all... <laughs> the ball's in your yeah. court, Carmela. <laughs> he's waiting for you to make a move about that. I mean, he still wants his guma, which could be an issue. Uh oh. <laughs> Bye. He's waiting for her to reach out. Yeah. This is Joey Peeps. May he rest in peace. Yeah, it's sad when they go young like that. When they go? <laughs> Come on, huh? Some homeless fuck saw a guy limping away. And then he wasn't sure. A limp, eh? <laughs> Tony, Tony, you putting. Yep. <laughs> he sure is. Connecting dots there. Let's see how the swing is after that. Not good. Not good at all. I'll tell you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not the captains, maybe. This isn't the UN, Angelo. I won't let what happened to my father happen to me. God forgive me. But you may be a stronger man than your dad was. The fundamental question is... This guy's just stroking him, him, isn't him he? Yep. Treating him like a human dinner roll. Make sure you butter both sides of the buns. <laughs> All I know is I cannot go home and live with my parents. So you would to go to her home and live with her parents? That doesn't sound better. Carmelo be okay with that? It's interesting work. As a career, actually. I mean, Josh's dad saw my shots. I won the prize in high school. What are you talking about? Just blow off dental school? I'm just saying. I gave up junior year abroad so we could be together. Maybe we should stay out there. You could transfer to UCLA. She always wanted to go to, what, was it Burbank? Yeah, something like that. Or Berkeley. She wanted to go to Berkeley. What do you want to see? I don't know. You say. No, you. Point in the relationship, but nobody wants to make the decision. <sighs> like you to and marriage. dinner every night. <laughs> You with dinner every night. I'll eat anything. I don't care. I'm afraid I have to accuse myself. What do you mean? Why? Bear's back. But based on a prior meeting, the code of professional responsibility precludes me from representing you. Because of that consultation. He took that guy's advice. Yes, why is my husband so picky? He talked to seven or eight of the top divorce attorneys in New Jersey. <laughs> well, you can probably figure that maneuver out for yourself. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Well, yeah. Uh, okay. Is that bear going to be sticking around this episode? Don't know. The hooker he was with got it in the chest. Must have been silicone everywhere, too. <laughs> <laughs> it is Tony Saragusa. Is it? Yeah. I knew it. Somebody said, why did you recognize Tony Saragusa but not Lawrence Taylor the couple episodes ago? And you did recognize Doris Taylor, right? Yeah, I just didn't say I his name, that. yeah. What's up? Turns out somebody got to look at the guy that did Joe Peeps. And don't look at me like I'm a fucking jerk-off. Because I'm sick of you leaning on this cousin thing and that bad hijack like you can do whatever the fuck it is you want to do. Because you went away that night, and I did You're the one keeps bringing that up. I'm fine with it. <laughs> you got an IQ of 158. She told you that? It's the week you got tested. All the fucking nuns were raving about it. <laughs> if you'd fucking be straight with me, I could use all that. Put me in, coach. <laughs> he doesn't know how to use you. Do you think he knows how to use him? All right, we got the casino on Bloomfield Avenue above the hardware store. You can make good use of a casino. Just keep him off the floor. What he was doing when he found that money, he was just playing at the high stakes games all week. Because I took that test and uh, somebody gets a 158. Well, they know a few things. So we can assume you think he's smarter than you. Honestly, I think he's smarter than you, the way you keep shitting on the test. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's myself. This was a good move. He has some responsibility issues, though. Carmela and I slept together. What was that like? It was nice. I'm the only man she's ever been with. Did you discuss it? Not quite. 
I'm a little concerned that the returns don't really reflect everything. There is other income. It's a lot more. Unreported income? Yes. And this other income, is it from an illegal stream? No, of course not. I used a forensic accountant to reconstruct his finances. This sounds messy. Yeah. No. I don't like that lawyer. It smelled like fed friend. Yeah. Looks like he got you a job working construction. Construction? The most I ever did, though, is, like, help my dad paint. He said you don't need experience to be a laborer or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just going to sit around. Oh, no. No, he might actually be doing something. You don't need experience to be a laborer on construction oh, yeah. sites. You just sweep and... The bitch work. Yeah. yeah. The stuff they had you do on uh You all you gotta start somewhere. <laughs> hey Shaggy, grab a bucket and some lights off. Scrub off my tires. There's fucking dog shit all over by the entrance. Hey Detrolio, you need something to do? Get fucking lost. Come on, guys. <laughs> Polly's the real foreman around here, apparently. Who Meadow? What are you talking about? Meadow Soprano. That's her boyfriend. Like, oh shit, oh. sorry. Why didn't you tell me you would date my niece? Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Polly. He's like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> hey, give me that shit. Polly! Come here. <laughs> Kissing Tony's ass through the potential son in law. I'm more worried about him getting into trouble. I now. know, I know. He doesn't the guys not are have like, any idea. She's he's. He's dating Meadow. We gotta get him to do something for us. I have asked you to lunch to tell you that I'm filing for divorce. I hope you brought your appetite. <laughs> Solid timing. <laughs> Go stand over there. I'll call you when I'm ready. <laughs> you want this to get ugly, Tony? Because these guys live for that. Oh, you think I don't? Uh oh. I want what I am entitled to. You're entitled to shit. Oh boy. Looks like they're going to the mattresses. He's ultra mad because of what happened last week, too. Whale tail! <laughs> you know who he looks like? That guy from Aerosmith, Joe Perry. He does kind of look like Joe Perry. So you dating anybody now? Finn's getting a little too friendly. What is she doing on the job site anyways? She must be a secretary. Taking a smoke break or something. You guys looked pretty chummy in the pool that night. He went home with Artie. They helped me clean up. Lies. I have decided to move ahead with the divorce. What are you going to do? About what? Life, I don't know. Haven't you ever thought beyond being dependent on some man? So simple for you, isn't it? It's simple for everybody who isn't expecting things to be handed to them. Isn't that what you always told me? You have options. I have a lawyer. Didn't she study for like a real estate exam or something? She's got like her license, doesn't she? Uh, apparently. Or something like that. She's got options. She doesn't seem to be thinking about them though. No. Jesus. So Patsy, the necklace, how to go over with the Guma? Beautiful. With the little emeralds? Fin loved it. First he gave her the emeralds, then he gave her the pearls. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Some rack on that girl. Yeah, didn't get past the sideburns. <laughs> you should talk. That skank I saw you with, this girl's fucking mustache. It must have been like kissing a fireman. <laughs> what time's that game tonight? Eight o'clock, I think. I'm gonna take a piss. Uh, he took offense to that. Mm -hmm. Hold this. Oh my god. In the face? You okay? Come on. God damn. Eugene Pontecorvo? He's so sweet. He didn't punch him. I'm not hungry. It's too hot anyway. I told you I was making dinner tonight. She made chili in the hot summer day. <laughs> Is it chilly? Yeah, it looks like chili. Yeah. 
But the truth is, they bring certain modes of conflict resolution from all the way back in the old country. From the poverty of the Mezzogiorno, where all higher authority was corrupt. Oh, she's going ancient history on her there. She's uh, educated, huh? It's also interesting because she's rationalizing the behavior of her family. Brother Joseph makes her body to its resting place. more susceptible to joining that sort of lifestyle. It's a fucking nickname. Family name is Pepperelli. They put Pete's on his headstone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his mom's gonna be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> his nickname is on his headstone. <laughs> The Lord bless him and keep him. Peace. The Lord make his face to shine upon him. <laughs> Guess who we saw on the Upper West Side the other night? Your fucking cousin Tony. So what does that mean? I should fucking kill him and his fucking wife and your cousin next. Oh, right. Come on, let's take a walk. Calm down. Come on. Uh -oh. It can't be no coincidence. Tony B was in the area. Yeah. You are sincerely mistaken if you think me or my cousin had anything to do with any of this shit. You responded three bucks away. You're gonna bleed some drunken Irish fucking prick over me. Oh boy. He was at a party at Carmela's house that night. Man. He has an, an alibi. My cousin could not have been in the city that night because he was with me. There we go. We were looking for his daughter, John. Cause she fucking disappeared. We we're gonna reach out to you, see if you could get some of your people on. I swear on my mother, Tony. If I find out, you're lying. Why didn't he use the real answer, which is more plausible? I'm not sure if that was the same night. It could have been a day later. Mm hmm. Just so remember, he got home and the twins had stolen something from from the party from AJ's room. <laughs> then he made the decision. Time had passed since then. So. Okay, well, they didn't show that in the yeah. edit, so. Oh, there he is. Three out of four dentists survey. Hey, how you doing? Where you going? Come here. Scared of him now. How's it? We got the good donuts today. They're recruiting him? Like, what's the deal here? <laughs> well, they just know his connection to the Tony, and they just. Want to be his buddy. That I hardly slept at all last night. So take a nap. What are you worried about? He's like, okay. Ever since I cleaned up, no matter what he says, Tony don't believe a person can change. And Side it's... deals, secret promises, he's always got an agenda. All I know is, I used to be number one cousin, now I'm being eased aside. It's overreacting. Hello? It's me. Hi, what's up? Is Adriana now freaking out because she feels like Chris is on the way out or something? I don't know. I got a motor. You don't have to work for like three hours. He has to sleep a little. I've got to ride with Alex. At this point, it doesn't even pay to go home. Maybe I'll just crash at work. I never went through that phase where, like... You were up all hours of the day? Not ever. I was... Uh, the sleep has always been high priority for me. <laughs> uh oh. I didn't see anything. Oh my god, do you think gonna he's gonna pissed. kill him? Do you think he's gonna kill him? Hey man! <laughs> Third baseline. Plus, it's bat night. That's really nice, Vito, but I, I can... Don't pull that all shuck shit with me. You're fucking going. I'll see you under the bat tonight. Seven shop. And I don't like to miss the national anthem. Oh, he's going with Vito. Is this like a date? I think or... it's Vito being like, trying to get close to him and be like, you can't tell anybody what you saw. Yeah. So you're just not going to show up? You love baseball. What is wrong with you? I don't like the guy, all right? You're going to want to show <laughs> up. He came on to me, all right? Either that or he wants to kill me. What? I saw him blowing some security guard in the parking lot. 
When? You should have kept that to yourself. Ben, I seriously doubt he wants to kill you. Well, maybe he wants to fuck me and then kill me. <laughs> Wait a minute, is that why you got out the suitcase? I am not going back to the site. So you're going back to Mission Viejo? I didn't say that. Oh, you should run. Yeah, he should run. He can't handle this life. I was thinking. Thinking of leaving! No. Well, yes. <laughs> Can we just stop fighting? You got out a suitcase! I'll put it back, okay? He oh, is not Vito's, the guy for her. Vito's gonna be fucking pissed. She missed the national anthem. It's really simple. Are we going to stay together or not? If you want. That's not what I asked. I said I did. That's not a good answer. Are you asleep? No. It's 4 a.m. But you didn't ask me to come. You went right to the closet and got out your suitcase. Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, at least he has an excuse with Vito now. <laughs> Meadow wouldn't shut the fuck up about anything. <laughs> Look, just stop crying, okay? I am so glad we never had to have... The college years? These sorts of problems. <laughs> well, his issue is he's answering all the questions wrong. She asks you, do you want to stay together? It's up to you. <laughs> That's not what you want to say. <laughs> no. Say, of course I want to st stay together. Why don't we just get married? Married? How will that solve this problem? Well, then Vito can't touch him. He's married to Meadow. I can't think. It's too late. It's just something I feel very strongly. <laughs> oh, God. Not a good answer. He's full of really shit answers. <laughs> I put a call into Phil Cantor a few days ago, the forensic accountant. The one with the vending machines. But then I didn't hear back from him. He found out who he would be. <laughs> so, what does this mean? You don't want the case? Well, as my partners reminded me, I do have a full caseload already. I probably should have mentioned. This is why mobsters don't get divorces. Nobody will take their wife's case. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to have to use Meadow in the law center. She can't use Meadow. I had another panic attack. It's not the first time it's happened recently. I wish you had told me. Yeah, well, I wish you'd cured it. <laughs> it's all her. Your cousin was at your house. Yeah. Talk. And your maid was crying about her cousin. You were so concerned about your cousin's foot, you collapsed on the golf course. I worry about him. He's a grown man, isn't he? Is he in danger of losing the foot or... Fuck his foot. It's not his foot. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to understand. <laughs> she put the picture together for you, though. It's, it's Tony, Uncle Al. All right, the night he got pinched, I had a fucking panic attack, all right? From my mother, goddammit. I didn't even know what it was then. Oh, interesting. Because he wasn't jumped. That was an excuse that he made. I just need some fucking Beano or something. No, just please focus. Need some Beano. <laughs> In case. A guy his size, I'd be afraid he was having a heart attack every single time. You know, sometimes what happens in here is like taking a shit. Yes, okay. <laughs> Although I prefer to think of it more like childbirth. Trust me. It's like taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was a stage nine clinger, too. <laughs> so that's how he got that scar on his forehead. Yeah. I liked how they had a story made up for James Gandolfini's actual scar on his forehead. Mm -hmm. So. Is a bear gonna come back? He's in the pool. Hello, mom. I'm engaged. What? Oh boy. Are you sure? <laughs> I, I, I mean, that's wonderful, honey. I'm just so surprised. Tony's in the pool. Oh, that is so sweet. I told him he shouldn't. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Yeah. Oh, 
Jeez, what's going through her head looking at Tony as she's getting that news? She's got to be thinking, I can't get out of this one, and she's getting into one. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of emotions. Like, you're happy for your daughter, but shit, that's what you have to look forward to. Well, she didn't even see Tony when she was like, wait, are you sure? I don't know if she's exactly happy. Surprised. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. All right. Well, uh, what's on your mind after that episode? Uh, I'm not sure. Do you think Tony's going to come, you know, forward with his, the truth to Tony and try to... I don't think so. You know? That yeah. would be a huge weakness. Yeah. You have to admit he faints. Yeah. I mean, everybody's seen him do it, though. At right. This point, right. I think it would help ease the guilt. And it, would it would definitely be better for him, events, but right? yeah, but it makes he's too him worried look about weak. his ego. Yeah. Right? And uh, what do you think is going to happen with Finn and Vito? Do you think since they're engaged now, uh, that Vito's I think gonna... Nix is that problem. You can't kill him. Yeah. What do you think Vito wanted? Do you think Vito just wanted to get close to him to you know confide in him at the baseball game, or is there nef- nefarious motives there? I can't tell if he wanted if he if he was yeah. hitting on him or if he was just yeah just. Trying to, to get to close enough to, so yeah, to be out. like, don't fuck with me or I'll yeah. kill you. Well, I, the way he was looking at the game, it would, it wasn't like, it would look more like disappointment than like mad, right? Yeah. So maybe he was hitting on him. I don't know. Or just wants to be his friend so he doesn't tell the other guys about. I mean, he, he did. He was like treating him really nice. I mean, like, hey, sit down, have a donut. <laughs> <laughs> Before he, yeah, they never saw him, right? Yeah. But uh, okay, hard to know. Well, that was a relevation about Vito, though. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure that's going to keep popping up. Don't know why it's relevant, but... Just like Tony's ego with uh, his, you know, psychological problems. It's true. Yeah, it's just something... Not uh, something you, the family, you want right? the, Yep, you want those guys to know about, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, anything else? Let's watch the next episode. Let's watch some more Sopranos. Here we go. Still can't believe Finn told Meadow... That he saw him veto. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he's smart enough and to realize he should keep some of that stuff to himself yet. You think this engagement lasts? I don't know. I don't. I don't think Finn, with how he's handling the. F- I mean, he does not have what it takes to be a mafia husband. Well, yeah. Yeah, they didn't show the Vespa scooters. Fucking Vespa's never got in my hands. <sighs> Tighten security at the ports, Al Qaeda. Gone, Johnny. Johnny starting to. They had. Your cousin didn't whack Joey. The Vespers never got into my hands. Holding He's a grudge. Skimping him. Holding a grudge. That kid tripped my kid. That's legal. She was going for the ball. She was not. Scarf! Scarf! Come on! Jazz is gonna punch somebody. Oh, shut up and get out of here. Don't tell me to shut up. Uh oh. What are you crazy? Oh! Oh, damn, Janice. Now, how can you kick my kick it off? <laughs> it's an intense soccer mom. You and John had that little chat at the funeral? Whatever that was, suddenly no Vespas. I think Tony's going to be supporting young Carmine here pretty soon. I thought you should know your sister Janice got arrested. What? In an incident of sports rage among soccer moms led to the arrest of a Verona woman with ties to the mafia. (laughs) They bring the mafia side into it. It started here at Summit Avenue Park during a 9 and 10 year old girls club soccer match. That one girl looked like she was at least 11. (laughs) Charges are still pending, but we. <laughs> Sister of reputed New Jersey mob boss Anthony Soprano. Whoops. That certain individuals are particularly prone to rage. Almost any frustration, uh, inconvenience, or perceived uh, inconsideration will set them off. Motherfucker! <laughs> He's got something to talk to Melfi about now. That bitch is lucky I didn't kill her. Well, we know that. What? <laughs> this is the end of it. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> you 
She's terrified of Tony. Yeah. Don't tell Bobby what I did to Richie. How many times I got to tell you, get control of your wife. It's hard to get control of your wife when it's the boss's sister. Yeah, right? no kidding. And it's Janice. You'll see. You'll defend your children like a lion with her cubs. You're not my parents. What did you say? Ouch. Now get to sleep. You're gonna punch me? Oh, shit. Stepmom is not easy. Yeah. Sandy, Sandy, what does she do? She tells her you were picked on by your father and asks you to read her screenplays. <laughs> if you don't go to these anger classes they have or whatever, this with us ain't gonna work out. Oof. Just putting his foot down. You gotta figure he's grabbing anywhere from 2,500 to 5 G's a night for himself. It used to be you, didn't it? Teach his pet. <laughs> I'm just saying. Now you know what I went through. <laughs> That's when Polly was such a, a butthole to him for the last couple seasons. I gotta move that shit. Again? A developer's going up there. So you and your cousin here, you're gonna go up there and take care of it. But the thing is, my old man's got a few jars up there also. I make problems with my uncle. Hope you have better luck than I did. I think your luck's been fucking great. Listen to you cursing it out. What, you got something you want to say? All right. So call me. Christopher's really butt hurt. We hit a 12 or 13. We'd school us. Do you have the hiccups? No, I don't think it's <laughs> What's up, Booger? What? You gotta talk louder. Can we have some popcorn? No. <laughs> it's 9.30. You can't have popcorn. Popcorn? <laughs> so, what are you still doing awake? You guys, let's go get a drink of water. Okay. Oh my goodness. No, no popcorn. No popcorn. <laughs> you can have popcorn tomorrow. No, oh, I told you that went away. What, you think it's fucking funny? He almost committed suicide because of it. How would you like it? Yeah, that would suck really bad, <laughs> wouldn't it? He is your cousin. Yeah? Should have seen him when I was little. Him and Tony both. How they broke my balls, teased me. Twelve their cousins are four. Right. How far away? And you went into something else. Like what? I don't know. Like Farming? <laughs> Male modeling? I'll get back to the writing someday. Hand modeling, maybe? I know. Like, <laughs> he doesn't have the face for modeling. I'm a soldier, Adriana. When are you going to understand that? She's going to talk to the feds to get Tony B. busted. Uh, to make Christopher feel better. I don't know. Maybe. She drained the pool. Oh, what? There's no water in the pool. We're gonna throw him an engagement party or what? No, if we can be civil. She's so young. Same age we were. Wasn't all bad. Is Tony gonna have to apologize? To who? I don't think he has yet. To for what? To Camilla? who? For what? For I don't know. Life? Yeah. <laughs> I want to pull in. I got to get out and move the bikes with a car full of groceries. Door sketching. Keep Billy's bike out of the driveway. Nailed it. Famous commercial from the 60s. Oh. You Guys. seem angry about Evelyn's problem. It makes me mad. <laughs> Wait a fucking minute. Who's that? If the shoe fits. This is fucking priceless. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you and me. We do most of the talking in here. The man is trying to say that those people outside, they do the thing, but we're the ones that get all upset and start carrying on. That's all he's saying. Think Janice is going to get some help there? Hopefully. Yeah. They used to call me Ichabod Crane. Who? Some very sorry people, that's who. The people that he buried there? You've mentioned her temper before. She got charged with aggravated assault and uh, resisted arrest. Excellent. Let's talk about rage. Why? 
Depression is rage turned inward. Interesting. You know what they say? Revenge is like serving cold cuts. I think it's revenge is a dish best served cold. So what I say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for holding. Your call is important to us. It's so fucking important. You answer the fucking phone. <laughs> the center cannot hold. The falcon cannot hear the falconer. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Where did we start off? I don't know. Depression is rage turned inward. So go to agent anger management problem class and fix your depression. Might. We know where Chrissy buried the guy, but with Uncle Johnny's, you gotta help us out. Oh, I thought they had money buried up there. They got people buried up there. Oh, that's way off there. You don't remember them when him and Christopher came and buried? Yeah, I sure do now. Yeah. I didn't realize it was this farm. I guess. Found one. Czechoslovakian guy. This is the second time I'm moving him. <laughs> That's right, he buried yeah. him under the bridge. The bridge yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pussy brought him up here. Oh, not funny. Ow. It was the guys from New York. Philly and Tyler them. I'm just going to make a bow meal out of them. And you, or anybody, can think what they like. But I feel I had a little coming to me. Hey, absolutely. I was... <laughs> you know I love him like a brother. I love him too. He needed to show Chris they had some equal ground. Yeah. I feel like Tony B probably felt that and said, let me go help him. Yeah. Johnny's got in his head that somehow my cousin has something to do with Joey Peeps. No fucking shipment of cheese coming in next month. I guess we can kiss that goodbye too now, right? Oh. We're going to the mattresses? Oh, this guy again. Carmilla. Hi. I was probably I'm going back with my husband. Oh. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Fucker. That was weird. That's an interesting cut. <laughs> was, maybe she w lied, but then the what? reason for that kind of cut is like self-reflection of what she just said as I, a lie. They, they've just a, never done that before. That's yeah, weird. That was weird. The Johnson brothers' bodies. I know where they are. So they're up there for a while until they find all these bodies, right? <laughs> I think so. Or he remembers where he put them. So how's that going? Anger management? It's the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> it's like this great sadness is beginning to lift. Sadness? Yeah. He's like, shit, that sounds really nice. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Thank you. I am. Well, it's helping her. Maybe Tony should go to a session or just have a private session with Janice. Talk it out. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there he is. Tony. Yeah. Jan sends a loaf. And Bob, too. Did you eat? Louise, oh. don't ask him. He's a guest. Just go get him a plate. <laughs> <laughs> this is the life, huh? I'm with you. Yeah, we were just saying that. Maybe you ought to keep it. Well, I mean, you still have not to. Making him, they're not making more land. Lex Luthor is. interesting i know i don't like it when they do that it makes me think that there's somebody, somebody watching. watching yeah i don't think there was that seems good huh? Louis seems fine <laughs> real nice but louise's last blood test she was 65 percent zeppelin <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one <laughs> when he was gonna eat philly cheesesteak the mayor of Philly would have to call out the National Guard. <laughs> what the fuck's so funny about that? <laughs> He's using all the jokes he used yeah. on him the other night. He's drunk. 
Him? No way. <laughs> Maybe he can take another couple of steps out the fucking door so we could have some fun? <laughs> no, they're picking on him. Um. You know, I could have called you Ichabod Crane, but I didn't. Some people can't handle being poked at too much. Just bring up the little cousin days. Mm -hmm. And detonate a nuclear or biological weapon hidden inside. Son of a bitch. In fact, a terrorist could even use a shipping container to smuggle himself into the country. She's getting paranoid now. <laughs> Welcome on back to you, me and the boobies. Christopher just wants to be equal. Yeah, he doesn't like together. he doesn't like to be picked on. Fort Newark is a chain link fence. They got a nuclear bomb in a container. We're fucking dead. That's why you gotta live for today. <laughs> I can't even think about it. Jesus, Tony. This poor guy gets his ass kicked by Tony more than anyone else. God damn. Beating him with his tips. Between the depression and these outbursts, this guy has got nothing but rage running through him, right? Call me. Who's that? I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be okay, the kid? He's big, strapped, and it'll be all right. But he's got some hearing loss, one ear. Looks like it could be permanent. Go over there. You make sure he gets the best. Oh, because he said, I can't even think about it. To find a new bartender, huh? Are you going back with Tony? No. Then why'd you say? I don't know. It just came out. Asshole. He was gonna... Total asshole. No, but the way they did that edit is she was, that means like she thought about what she said. She's like, oh my God, do I actually think I, that subconsciously? It's just still a weird edit. Yeah. So? For dinner? Huh? Thank you. Mahatma Gandhi over here. <laughs> nice. Instead of yelling at her, she, she just she said, spoke nicely and she put it back. Hmm. Are you hinting at something? <laughs> yeah, you need to go to anger management class. So you'd stop yelling at me if every time I take a Hawaiian punch out of the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, delicious. He's looking at her funny. Mm-hmm. Just wondering what Harpo's up to. Who's Harpo? That's Hal, Janice's son. You have a son? He doesn't like that she's happy. Harpo's song by Phoebe Snow. Because that's the song you named Harpo after, right? It's not Harpo Marx. He's being his mom right now. Sacre bleu, where is Mimi Ma? He couldn't let her be happy. That was disgusting. That was... There was a lot of uh, emotional layers in that episode. Yeah. With Janice's issues and Christopher's issues. And Tony's, Tony's issues. at issues, yeah. yeah. They all kind of played out right there. All those anger moments and yeah. lack of coping skills that they all kind of have. He didn't like that Janice was getting her shit together. No, he had to stir the pot. He couldn't stand that she was, yeah, that he was going to be the one that couldn't get his shit together. Yeah, you're right. He was turning his mom right there. Mm -hmm. Ah, I didn't like that at all. He needs to go to anger, man. Anger management class. Absolutely. That episode alone made me really dislike Tony a lot. Yeah? Yeah. Just the way I mean, he was treating Christopher and then Janice there? Yeah. Hmm. When he's a sensitive guy, he should, I don't know, just feel like he should be more sensitive to yeah. the sensitivities Other of others. Other feelings. Mm -hmm. I think he's more tuned into his own feelings right now and only cares about that. Pretty selfish, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't like it when other people are getting over their depression, and he's not. He's definitely a very complex character, isn't he? Yeah. This whole issue with uh, Johnny Sack, too, is what's... Because that was what 
started the episode as him finding out about the mm-hmm. containers and then just more information coming out about how they should be using those the port basically for more stuff is in a sense because they're not checking it yeah but, but he also the, he clung to the he he was clinging hard to the um the fear of the terrorist yeah, stuff. yeah. Like, that is that's his depression and depression and anger coming out in that as well it's just really interesting mm-hmm. yeah they did a really good job this episode of kind of layering on those themes in a in a very human way right i mean yeah. they very realistic human way very complex character yeah all right well uh speaking of the issue with the uh ports do you think tony is going to be switching his alliance i don't know that he's going to be switching any alliances i just think that shit's going to go down and he's not going to be friends with anybody at this point yeah Hmm. Yeah, definitely with him getting shortchanged by a johnny sack on the stuff coming in i Starts hurting his bottom dollar and all his guys' bottom dollar. He's going to turn away. Yeah. Start focusing on Bad his own, for business. own deals, right? Well, what else on mind? Anything else? I thought it was a good couple of episodes, that's for sure. So what do you think about Carmela's uh, slip there? And that oh, odd she, editing. The editing choice I did not appreciate. Well, I, I, don't think I, I don't think it really matters because she subconsciously, even if she wants to get back with Tony, she's not going to because she hates him right now yeah. like there's it's not gonna happen it'll be years before she's to a point where she could potentially get back with tony but he has no interest either well it felt like in that first episode we watched tonight at the very beginning she was considering it when she was talking absolutely to and then he showed no interest in trying yeah. after sending flowers so that is pretty apparent that he's not interested in getting back together with her he doesn't want to be with her he just doesn't want to be divorced from her yeah. but for catholic reasons i think not for yeah for the the traditional yeah reasons yeah okay which is hmm. just so funny like doesn't want to get divorced because it's a sin he literally kills people for a living <laughs> and steals money like he but you know that's all goes back to how the old days in the, the mother country where yeah. they, the head officials were corrupt and so they had to take care su- of business their own. I am way. surprised yeah. they didn't go into Meadows' engagement a little bit more, but yeah. I guess well, that, I think that's we've got probably, what, three episodes left. Probably to come in the future, they'll yeah. probably have another party here. they got to fill the pool back up if they're going to have a party, though. That's right. Right? The end of the summer for the engagement. Looks like it's already fall. Yeah, it does look like it's already fall. I guess indoor. <laughs> <laughs> I guess no the, the last the pool. we went from August to September. I guess so. Yeah. Well, what should people comment on after these two episodes? I never know what to ask people about this. Yeah. Which personal relationship towards Tony in this season is most interesting to you? Because we're seeing Christopher kind of take a backseat to Tony B mm. when he was being groomed to be the next head guy last season, right? Right. Now that Tony B's out, Tony B seems to be moving up. Yeah, I don't so, think I don't see him as being groomed to be the next yeah, lead. Though. He's just getting he's what just, yeah. he's owed him for being in the, exactly. the joint, right? And then we had the Janice situation popping up here. Yeah. There's always a Janice situation though. And then Carmella. Which personal relationship was most interesting to you? There you go. Like, comment, subscribe too. Thanks for hanging out for Sopranos. Come back next week. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access, fully commentary, access to pulls up pick we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Till next time. Have a good one. Bye. You a tiger stripe suit. <laughs> Meow. <laughs>folks welcome on back to you me and the tv and it's time for another episode or two of the sopranos sweet and we're getting close to the end of season five here what's going on oh you know the gabagool the tony's yeah yeah
Carmelo's going through with the divorce, or trying to at least. Trying to, can't find a lawyer, because yeah. Tony's talked to all of them already. And things are heating up in New York since Tony B whacked that guy. Yeah, yep, Johnny Sack's pretty pissed. Yeah. So what are you expecting? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen next. Some killing. Should we jump in and find out what happens next? Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out with us for The Sopranos. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below for early access to Revita's full-length commentary and access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Twitter and Instagram. Feel on it. Do it. Or not. Or not. It's up to you. Let's watch The Sopranos. Here we go. Oh, God. <laughs> it's all wet. Your mustache was covered in juice. Thought you liked the wet Just kiss. Just it all over my mouth. <laughs> it's like cold. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, just a wham bam thank you, ma'am, huh? Welcome on back. Do you mean the booby? Just one though, we only saw one. That's all I need. <laughs> it's the jewel of Antigua. Three sun filled days on white. All sand. inclusive. Mm. You know you're getting a divorce, and I see you less than before. Stop yelling. To fucking ask for a little bit of attention. Turn the water. Oh my god. Oh my god. How did that escalate so quickly? I got it. You're okay. You're okay. She's not okay. <laughs> Half her hair has got to be gone. It's all that grease they had from the. The hot, greasy sex. Ew. Takes after it, too. He's in architectural salvage. That must be his real son. Looks a lot like him. I'm sorry. But Rusty, I think he bangs his wife in installments. Better than put her on layaway. Spoke to me on kind of your sense of humor and all. This feels way too lovey-dovey. Right. right. They're like too good to be true sort of situation. Like, thanks for doing that job for us. Now Here's we're a gonna, bunch of trophies. Now we're gonna sh kill you. Yikes! Oh, it's it's me, Tony. Yes, they gotta keep you in here a couple of days so it don't get no bacteria in it. Are you gonna operate on me? Yeah, drugged up real good. Whatever. Don't worry about nothing. I have a feeling he's going to pay for all that and then never see her again. Yeah. <laughs> he's done with her. <laughs> what is he getting now? A little kid's John Deere tractor. Oh, no. <laughs> They're going to kill him. Yeah, Johnny Sack sent him. Max, Johnny wants to see you. It's late? I'm gonna see him tomorrow. Apparently it's gotta be now. You know, he's in one of his moods. Fine. I'll follow you over. Whatever. Let's go. Mm, that's bad. Screams bad news, bears. Johnny's making his move. Know me. Hey. Couldn't fucking retire. Silly, but don't say you know me. Look at this shit. You know the work I just had? Give me the fucking keys. He just had that car fixed. Look at that popcorn machine. Sweet. We should get one. Nah. This is today's paper, Bisha. Thus I'm thinking. Why'd you throw it away? She's too good at cleaning. Go steal the neighbor's paper. Or Janice and Bobby's. Ooh. These are for you. Enchiladas. 
I seriously dread going home that fucking Guatemalan. Fire her ass, get a new one. This is the new one. <laughs> that smell, fuck that burning hair smelling. Still smelling. Another reason I'm glad we don't have gas. Speak for yourself. So you come across any burn victims uh, at that hospital in the can? Sure, Aryan guys are always setting each other on fire. <laughs> Jeez. You know what I've been thinking about lately? Charmaine Buco. Nice set on her. No, not like that. Oh, baby, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Artie's ex wife? Yeah. Plus, she's a licensed notary public. I don't feel I mean, like Artie's going to be okay with that. That's the kind of woman I need. He wants a notary? It almost worked between me and her, right? No, she hates that you're a mobster, Tony. Right. It's one of the reasons why she divorced Artie. Artie. I'm, your stuff. I'm taking you back to your mom's early. You know, they usually hire twins to play the young kids. Do you think they hired quintuplets for those guys? Definitely, yeah. Yeah. Sex tuplets, probably. Sex tuplets? I don't know. Out of the horse shit over there, will you? Is this in Newark? Uh, it's the plaza. I think it's in New York. Is that in New York? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Beautiful ladies. Here we go. Is this where? Kevin McAllister. Kevin yeah. Steve? <laughs> Is Tim Curry working today? I don't know. <laughs> oh, Jill, that's so funny. Very good, Mr. Petraglia. We have you in a deluxe suite with a park view. The bellman will show you to your room. Enjoy your stay, Mr. Petraglia. So he's using a fake name. Not just a fake credit card. What was Melfi doing there? Is she staying at the plaza? Must be. Girls weekend or something. Hello? 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 Whoever you are, I'd like you to stop this. She's Tony. <laughs> Creeper. Has he been calling her a lot, you think? Must be. It's like a teenage boy. Call him his crush. Various <laughs> ways of the East more than the ladies of Jade Escorts. New York's most exotic and erotic girls are waiting oh, to geez. see you call. Stop it. <laughs> Quit that. Did he call you? Oh, yeah. I'm trying to reach you. Angelo got it. Last night. Probably Phil. Who called him? Is that Johnny? No, it doesn't no. sound like John. I'm not available right now. Don't leave messages on this phone. Is Tony hiding? Or no. is he just He's on He's just a trying vacation? to get away from his life, I think. Yeah. Now he realizes shit's going down. Yeah. Call me if you're here, you understand? Yeah. You got my cell. Yeah. What's you think he's dead too? So you think we, what he's thinking? Well, we just saw him though, so. Hold on, hold on. This is Hooker. I don't know, I got a bad feeling about this. Don't worry about it. He ain't that stupid. Where was he driving to? You want me to suck your dick now, baby? Is that what you want, baby? What the fuck? <laughs> Tony, I'm so lonely. I miss my Violet. She was everything to me. Answer the fucking thing. He's having a weird dream. Yeah. <laughs> dream of the dead guys. Like what? Our friend. Gotta go. No problem. Fuck it up, it's important. I know it's important. Which friend? I feel like they're saying kill Carmine. It was just a dream, alright? He must be in heaven, he said the other side. Dream within a dream? <laughs> Don't get me steamed, Alice! And then, you choked the shit out of me! Yeah, but that's, that's after you were trying to put a fork in my eye. <laughs> oh, that was your mother! <laughs> <laughs> it's Melfi's voice now. This is a weird dream. Sure is. 
Are you ready for what you have to do? I'm sweat. I did my homework. You were right up front? No, Dad, I'm fine. <coughs> Could get sick in the back seat. All the skeletons are coming to play. Where are we going? Driving you to the job. That's his house. This is a deep dream. Did the hooker drug him? <laughs> I think he's away from the noise at the plaza. He's having deep sleep dream. So much more interesting. Than what? Than life. What, are you kidding me? It is your life. Tell me, what day is it? What day? What? It's Christmas Day, of course. Christmas Day. She calling him Scrooge? <laughs> Are you coming? Hey. That's from a previous season, right? I don't know. I get teeth falling out of nightmares, though, too. I feel like that was a past dream he had in, like, season two or something. I'd like you to meet Finn's parents, Mr. DiTrolio, Mrs. DiTrolio. Oh, how do you Kevin, McCall Kevin McAllister's dad. He's staying at the plaza. Show them what you have in your pocket. Not that. People always told us that Finn would never amount to much. No, oh, it's Junior sitting there. Three times a lady. You and that Benny. And I, I don't show him. <laughs> this dream is crazy. <laughs> and I love you. <laughs> so you think that's actually Kevin McAllister's dad? That's why he's in the dream? Like. Yeah. No, I don't know. Congratulations. You made everyone uncomfortable. I don't want my husband coming out of there with just his cock in his hand. Mine either. Believe me. What? I am lost. It's a dream. I know. I know. Oh, Godfather. This is it. this was gonna happen why didn't you stop him you've any idea what you just did why don't you tell them what happened 20 years ago i can't go into that right now what do i gotta count to before i can get up tony you're really dead <laughs> but i got kids they got kids this dream is all over the place <sighs> I'm wiped out. Uh. <laughs> Richie? What's that noise? Ah, uh, it's those mix outside the hotel with those carriage rides. Tell them go away. Artie's watching. <laughs> I think I want to come home. There are some non-negotiable conditions. Like what? You can't have your horse in here. Why not? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you didn't take care of that? But check this out. What's he need to take care of? I don't know, but I'm anxious for them to just get to it already. Like, enough of this weird shit. That one guy, when they were out in the city, made it sound like he, he needs to take out his cousin. But he's like, I don't have a piece. Right. Going back to his high school? He never had the makings for a varsity athlete. Never seen that guy before. I suppose you blame it on your father when you're crying to that shrink of yours. No, I'm on my mother. <laughs> you're not prepared! <coughs> Chocolate? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll never <coughs> shut me up! Wow, that went way back. It was fucking... His high school coach? So long. I have a feeling shit's about to hit the fan. Yeah. Obviously, so does he. 
<laughs> or it's already hit the fan while we've been in that huge ass dream. It's probably like a twelve dollar candy bar. Maybe twenty at the plaza. Tony B took out Billy Leotardo. Yeah. Wait a minute, you mean Philly? Billy. Phil got winged. He's in the hospital. Ah. TB went ape over Angelo. Phil, he's holding his little brother as the kid's dying in his arms. There's blood all over Phil. Jesus. I'm here for you. Whatever. I know that. That's what they were buttering him up to do another hit. You he wants that Toblerone. No, take it. See you later. Are you thinking Johnny's going to come after them now? Cause yeah. Because Tony B? Yep. Yeah, don't get alarmed. I'm sorry to call you so early, but uh, I had one of my Coach Bolonero dreams. Oh, yeah? Were you unprepared as usual? <laughs> yeah. You were in a dream, too. Oh, yeah? I was on this horse. Is that us the house next door, Barker? Can you hear him? Absolutely. 5.30 in the morning. Someone ought to serve him some veal. Hello, Strickland. Stop it. I'm serious. Is it light where you are yet? It's the end of the episode. Oh. I was like, what's going on? That was actually really sweet, the ending. Yeah? Yeah. He, al he almost said what his dream about. Yeah. With her in it. And he's like, I was just on a horse, and then he paused, There's and then he didn't say anything else about that. It was such like a... Husband and wife talking. It was just like such a soft moment where, mm -hmm. you know, when you're in a relationship or the beginning of a relationship, and you can tell them just, you know, tell them everything, yeah. have those long conversations on the phone. I was That's starting sweet. to worry when I heard that dog bark, though. Why? I didn't know the ending was coming. I thought, uh oh, oh that somebody somebody's going to hurt coming Carmella. coming to Tony's house. Oh, no. But, they were just having a yeah. a moment. Yeah. All right. Well, that was an interesting episode. Kind of like it was the I, lull before the storm. I yeah, think. I like hated it. Yeah, really? <laughs> I liked it. I liked, I liked the very very end, and that's it. Because yeah. I don't like dream episodes. Like yeah. you hated Nightmare on Elm Street the whole series. I hated the whole thing. Yeah. Don't. Like I dream. like dreams because I'm like this kind of reminds me of my dreams. I random weird, and bizarre. Random run on dreams that. Mm. mix scenes and stuff like that so do you not have dreams like that i'm sure i do i don't really remember them much mm. i'm having a couple lately a lot of them feature our dog but yeah, yeah you tried telling me about it the other day yeah. and then you didn't because you got attacked kids by a running. scorpion in one of our dreams it was weird There's no scorpions around here i know <laughs> no somebody somebody was in our house and like threw a scorpion in the room i was actually at my old parents house and uh, he was with me. Your old parents or yeah, your my, parents' my, old house? My parents' old, <laughs> my parents old house. As opposed and to his they new threw parents. a scorpion into my bedroom and hid it under something. I walked in there and moved the thing that was hidden under it, and the scorpion there. And Howdy was with me, and I freaked out, and I went to gra run to grab something. He stayed in and fought the scorpion. I you came back, and he had gotten stung. You still remember this dream? Well, yeah, it's very vivid. He came ba I came ba running back in, and Howdy was hurt because he got stung by a scorpion, so I had to take him run to the vet well he's okay now so. what does that dream mean no idea what's that dream mean nothing nothing no sometimes dreams don't mean anything yeah. they're just dreams and then when we got to the vet my mom and my stepdad were there trying to help us get an uh, x-ray on him and he wouldn't hold still so we could get an x-ray <laughs> i don't know why they were helping me give our dog an x-ray at the vet there was no either. vets it was it's weird, huh? That's bizarre. Yeah. So glad we covered it with these folk, fine folks watching. Yeah, we, we watched a dream episode, so why not talk about one of my <laughs> I think we ought to watch watched. the next episode. Oh, you don't want to keep talking about dreams? No. You've had enough dreams. I'm good saying. with that, yeah. Let's watch the first episode. <laughs> Here we go. She's throwing away the garbage. Yeah. But then she changes her mind. in her bag pregnancy test 
but there's a good chance of weight gain accompanied by Cushing syndrome. That's a swelling of the facial features, a sort of a moon face. What? Have you seen Jerry Lewis in the last year or two? Oh She's God. planning a wedding, for Christ's sake. <laughs> You know what, I dreamed that I moved back in here. <laughs> now he brings it up. Radio silence. <laughs> you had your own indiscretions yourself. The thing with Furio? I did not sleep with him, Tony. Theoretically, though, if we do reconcile, that stuff will never happen again. Mr. I am what I am, please. <laughs> What happened? Yep. Come on, I was finishing my drink. Fuck! Missed a lot of shots there. Yeah. Phil is pissed. We're at a fucking stagmire. We back down now? Bunk it down? Stagmire? Does he mean quagmire? I think so. Put your ear to the street. Let the guys see you take the reins. That's not how I want to handle it. He's more of like a backseat leader. <laughs> I feel like those guys are like, well... This guy's useless. Yep. The fuck are you doing? I can handle a cocktail once in a while, right? Probably shouldn't. Yeah. Papa says I gotta relax. From what? She's got the world at her feet. She walks around like impending doom. It's because she's a rat. I'm going to get you a tiger stripe suit. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> so, come and me, uh, getting back together, maybe. That's great. See, counting his chickens before they hatch, telling people they're getting back together. Yeah. Figures if he says it out loud, it'll happen. I don't know where he is. Nobody does. You either deliver that prick to my door, or I will rain a shitstorm down on you and your family like you have never fucking seen. Whoa. Uh -oh. Does he have a timetable for this request? I know, I know. Like, how or, long do we have to find him? The way Tony was looking there was like, he was about to... Like, well, okay, this means war. Yeah. Attacked. Oh, fuck! Yo, check it! Oh, shit! Hurry up! Ew. Who is it? I don't know. He's pretty waterlogged. I couldn't make it out. Yeah. You know, with Meadow getting engaged, AJ almost... You want another kid? <laughs> no. A hobby. She wants a hobby. She wants a job. A job, yeah. Think she's gonna come to work for a Tony? How much is the lot? Six hundred thousand. Cheaper than a divorce. Have them free up a down payment. And then? I'll move back in. That easy? Midlife crisis problems will no longer intrude on you anymore. You're gonna have to give it a lot more blowjobs. Give her $600,000 and she's good. Come on back home. What would be your price? Won't ever have to worry about it. Yeah, you're right. Carolina, you got a call from the Bureau of Alcohol and Tobacco. Some fucking bodega Newark's been selling cigarettes without the tax stamps on it. He's drinking wine. That was Christopher's uh, cigarette thing. Yeah. Fuck this piece of shit. I'm done. Oh, God. Him and our ass wipe cousin, that two faced cocksucker. He could get us all killed with New York, and him, Tony, has to think about what to do with him now. After all this shit. Well, maybe I need to think. Ever thought of that, you fat fucking scumbag? Is Christopher actually done with Tony, you think? I uh, don't know. No. Am I that fucking horrible now? Oh, you're not horrible at all. Just bad timing. Like a gentleman. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Oh, great. Another one of those? Just what he needs. I know you're there. Just say something. Where the fuck up? 
Looks like he's upstate somewhere. Mm -hmm. Or Canada, maybe. This way, please. Scoop. My car! What were those detectives at the crazy horse for, you think? Don't know. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> what are the dishes, all right? It's just like, this is weird. This is fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> it is fucking weird. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, give me a glass. Your kids, you gotta hold a cork. Don't let it fly out. Gab's uncle got a detached retina at his own retirement party. He never saw out of that eye again. Ouch. Oh, from a cork? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, slow down, slow down. <laughs> supposed to savor it. It's important in life. So, well, I just chugged it. Could I get some more? <laughs> <laughs> Can I savor some more? <laughs> what was she doing? He was stabbed in the club. You tried to dispose of the evidence. I didn't do nothing. Did Christopher stab him? This isn't even related to Tony at all. <laughs> Whoops. I'll take him out through the basement. Dump him in the ocean. And you forgot to add the rocks. There a big pile of blood or anything? He's very religious. Religious. He prays like all the time. And every month he sends all his money home to his family. In Pakistan. His brother runs a prep school. Someplace for young boys. I was very impressed with that. Is that bullshit or? They think he's like a Taliban recruiter or something. <laughs> <laughs> I want you wired up. I want Tony Soprano on tape. Well, I'm not doing it. Then you're all out of options. I don't want to talk to my lawyer. Fine. Who's your lawyer? I don't have an official one. I'll call the public defender. They'll send someone down. Might take a while, though. She going to wire up or lawyer up? I hope lawyer up. I think wiring up is more dangerous for her long, in the long run. Well, I could help you there. Over here. Oh, let's give her some exercise. In, in the, the closet. closet. We should think about our offer. It's not a bad deal. Yeah, it is. I mean, living like this is what's costing you your insides. She's not wrong about the IBS. <laughs> what? I mean, that's why she's having a... Well, yeah. There's no way she'll wear a wire, but she thinks she might be able to get Multisandi to flip. Depending on what he's offering, maybe immunity and relocation for the two of them. Tell her she's got till 9 a.m. Monday to bring him in, or we turn her over to Lone Branch PD. <laughs> What's Christopher gonna do? You just said he was done with him. That's why we're watching this? To find these I'm things out. I'm just wondering out. what you think's gonna happen. Why would I have any idea? Mm. Seems like him and uh, Johnny worked out a deal. I knew he'd cave. He's a fucking pussy, that kid. Johnny Sack. Boss of a family. Thought John had an ego before? Forget it now. <laughs> Guess they're not happy with that, huh? So where the fuck you been? Christopher, we need to talk. I asked you a question, Adriana. I know. There's something I need to tell you, though. It's that fucking Bobby DeMarco? No. Shut the fuck up for a second, you asshole. God. I was arrested. For what? What are you talking about? For drugs. Is he gonna kill her? Remember my friend Danielle? She set you up? She was an FBI agent, Christopher. You better keep talking and get through this, otherwise he's gonna kill you right now. They wanted me to wear a wire, but I wouldn't do it. But, 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 but now there, there was a murder, Christopher, and, and they know about it. But I had no choice. They've been filming us in the parking lot. Oh, no. Yeah, he's gonna kill her. 
How could you fucking do this to us? Didn't even get her give her a chance to finish. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm sorry. You couldn't do it. T, it's me. You awake? Look, I know you're mad, okay? Mad? You're gonna get your ass killed. My kids, my boys. Don't worry about that. I'll look after them. Yeah, well, that's that's why I'm I'm calling. You know, to ask if you sure. Why not? Anything else I could do for you? <laughs> it was like a panic attack. I went down like a house of cards and I cracked my fucking skull open. Why are you telling me all this? Anyway, now we're even. So the casino, all that shit you did for me is because of that? He's telling him all that because he's about to get killed. Yeah, you think he's going to turn him over? Uh, That's why he was tapping yeah. the phone, right? Clearing his conscience with him. Now he's going to trace the call. <laughs> Sending the dogs. We could never come back here, Adrian. I don't want to come back. I just want you. You couldn't even see your mother again. You want some eggs? Carefully, you could light yourself on fire. Come on. I love you, baby. I think he's gonna kill her. That's what she's afraid of, too. Say goodbye to the Hummer. Jesus, I don't even know how to say this. It's Christoph. He tried to commit suicide. Oh my God, is he all right? He's fine. Still by to pick you up then, okay? Jesus Christ. You know, he's been drinking, so he's probably fighting that heroin urge again. Those thoughts of the gas station turned quick then. Yeah. That still was picking her up. She can't go into witness protection herself. She doesn't know anything. Oh. What? She was daydreaming about getting away. So she's going to go to jail then? He's a strong kid. Chrissy. He's tough. Very resilient. She gonna throw herself out of that car? They're gonna kill her. Yeah, this isn't the hospital. No. no, 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 no. It's her suitcase. Yeah, they're gonna dump it, make it look like she oh, ran bolted. off. Mm -hmm. Christopher seems to be doing all right with this decision. I want you to know this is the last time we'll meet like this. It's undignified. Undignified. Does it mean he's bigger now and yeah. they can't meet Tony like this anymore? It's exactly. kind of disrespectful. But I'm asking you now. As a friend. Let me handle this myself. I can't do that, Tony. You can do whatever the fuck you want, John. You're the fucking boss. I choose not to, then. This is me now. Come on. Anything else? No. I find it annoying that the boss of New York lives in New Jersey. <laughs> what a douchebag. His head has gotten really big. Yeah. Tony doesn't like that. You know what, John? I'll give you undignified. Go fuck yourself. You and Phil and whoever. My fucking cousin. Go into the mattresses. I snored a little age. I can't stand the pain. Fucking, fucking pain! Ah. You think you're alone in this? Hey, it What's was... the status on Multisanti? Last seen yesterday, he was leaving the bing with Tony. Should we bring him in? That'll get us nothing. She really could have fled. She could be in China by now. That sounds meant like, no, she's dead. Yeah. Get like, to your head. You're being naive. Of course she's dead. They killed her. Maybe she went up to live on the farm. Definitely.
Did she survive? No. I thought she was like crawling around or something. <laughs> Tony Carmella's going for a walk in the woods trying to find their bear a bit. No, looking at their new property. You alright? Yeah. Yeah, me. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I just had to kill Adriana and we're going to war with New York. Everything's great. They did a good job of um, of pretending that Chris tried to OD or something, right? Like, yeah. you know, really, because I believed him. Yeah, I was like, oh man, too. yeah, yeah, she definitely did until he pulled off on that side road. Oh, well, she's gone now, and Christopher had to use to, I guess that's why he was numb to the th- what he had to do. Mm-hmm. And, thing with uh, New York and Johnny Sack though with, to Tony basically saying he's not going to give him his it, cousin yeah I think I think that's what he was saying I mean it's definitely building to a kill lawyer. or be killed yeah he chose his cousin mm-hmm I well actually, if, if Johnny hadn't disrespected him he was gonna I mean he would have turned his cousin yeah, over Johnny saying that you can't meet with him like that yeah anymore. it's undignified well fuck off you yeah. prick right like, I thought Tony was actually gonna like shoot him right I then and there I think that's what I would have if I were Tony, I would have Just done that. Pulled out your nine. Yeah, I'm like, fuck you, cat. man. Don't disrespect me like that. Yeah. I mean, the way Phil talks about New Jersey families, though, he's been disrespecting New Jersey all season, saying, like, you guys are from New Jersey. That doesn't even count. Yeah. Right? So, well, all right. That was pretty eventful. Sure was. Remember when you said that uh, Car- Carmella and Tony weren't going to get back together anytime soon? Yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> For the end of the season, they're back together. You never know. Uh, just took Tony a long dream to realize what he needed to do. And, just a uh, long, weird dream. And part it? of that dream meant he needed to apologize to Carmella. And apparently. Say, he'll, I am what I am, but I'll, I'll stop being that. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. I was wrong. So, hmm. What did you think of their plot of land? It was pretty. I didn't see a view, but it was foggy, too. Too so. many trees for my yeah. personal preference. But. You like trees? I feel claustrophobic. I feel like they're probably going to cut down most of those trees. I would imagine, yeah. Put a spec house on there. So, well, she's got her next project. Yeah. So, uh, we got one more episode left in the season. That's it? Just one? Yeah. Th- episode 13 to wrap up season five Whoa. next week. And then we're on to the final season after that. Uh, so, are we going to have like an engagement party or a wedding? Probably a wedding at some point. In this finale? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, maybe not, not in... Probably an engagement well. party. Yeah. yeah wrap maybe. up the season. Maybe we'll start next season with a wedding. Exactly. Well, what should people comment on after these two episodes? Did you have any idea? Did you know she was going to get whacked? Or What was your feeling on that? Yeah. Sills picking her up to take her to the hospital? No, he's picking her up to take her down in the woods and say, hasta la vista. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know your initial gut feelings for that whole Christopher and Adriana exactly. issue. Also, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for The Sopranos. Yeah, Come check out our Patreon week. link down below if you want early access to our videos, find commentary, right. access to polls, episodes, pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. Christopher needed. Mm-hmm. You're crying. Well, too bad. <laughs> Howdy, folks! Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV, and it's time for a finale, a season finale for The Sopranos, and it's the fifth season finale, which means five seasons. We've watched five seasons. I know, of this? which means after this, we have one. Extended season left. Ooh. Season six is a longer season, but we've got one season left after this. Okay. 
What's going on in The Sopranos? What did we watch last week? Carmela and Tony are back together. And they're back together. You never she, thought it would happen. I didn't season. think it was going to happen. She basically said, you buy me this land so that I can build a house and, uh, and let me build a house on it and I'll get back with you. <laughs> and Tony's like, I am what I am, but it won't happen ever again. Yeah. Don't know how that's going to work out. Yeah. You think he's going to cheat on her ever Definitely. again? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Good mask. Coming in. New one. I mean, his, his last one kind of caught on fire, so. He, yep, his last one did catch on fire. And then what else happened? Oh, Adriana. She got whacked. She got whacked. So do you think the FBI is going to be like, uh, what do we do next with these guys? Basically. I think it's going to get even more. Are they going to have to find a new leak? Yeah. Well, should we jump in and see how the season ends? God, please. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Soprano season finale. Yeah, get your gabagool. And check out our Patreon link down below for more early access to our videos, full-length commentary, access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Twitter and Instagram. If you like it, do it. If you don't, let's watch some movies or shows or whatever we yeah. watch. Music videos? Maybe someday. Let's watch. The season five finale of The Sopranos. I'm excited. Oh. Woke up this morning, got some gabagoo. We're being recorded right now. <laughs> Woke up this morning. Got some gobagoo. Got some gobagoo. Got some gobagoo. They find her body? You were right. Forensics has signed off on him. No. The body can be released. I promised our mother I'd see him like we knew him, Jimmy. Before they put on all that pancake and shit. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna want to see him like this. Was he shot in the face? Wasn't he shot in the face? Oh, I think he was. In the head? John, how long I gotta wait? An eye for an eye? I think Tony's on the chopping block. An eye for an eye, what's that mean? He's not gonna take out, they can't take out the boss of the family. This is kind of fun, but... Yeah, it is. Welcome on back to Yumi and the Boobies. Oh, hey, thanks for that massage. My toe doesn't hurt hardly at all now. So he's, he's hiding out at his uncle's house? Oh, I need a massage? Is that... I need a massage for my feet? Is that... What you heard? You're Joanne, right? Who are you? Well, we're friends of your sons. My son doesn't live with me. Sorry, I have to go to work. Where the fuck is he? For, uh, Leave me for... alone. I had a brother your son's age. Please let go of my hand. Where the fuck is he? It's a guy's mother, Phil. It's a guy's Shh. mother. They're gonna have to take out Phil. Yeah. He's gonna be out for blood until somebody dies. <laughs> yeah, they're working there for free, so... Thanks after you, maybe. Don't do that. He's my son, too. Yeah, why is AJ so lazy and Meadow's got her shit together? First child. Got scones if anybody wants. Hey, Meadow, take a look at the house your mother's gonna build. She, her wig is a little too much right now. It's a wig? I'm pretty sure. Hey. Christopher, hi, it's Carmela. Is Adriana there? No. I was just wondering what was going on. Is everything all right? We broke up. What? Broke my heart. Moved out a couple of days ago. I haven't seen her. There's other fish in the sea. I know. Yeah, what is this going to do to Chris? Tony Soprano and Vito Spatafort talking about the bus station project. Adrian LaServa. If you hear anything, let me know. Say hello to Ike and the guys. Their, their other rat. Don't think Johnny's not going to put a financial squeeze on all of us. Tell me about it. I'm already getting fucked with by Johnny's people. It's not good. All due respect, I'm willing to die for a good cause. 
This is bullshit. Vito's ready to go to war, huh? Listen, I can't stay. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, I got a meeting I gotta go to. He disappointed me, Anthony, in ways that I can't even begin to tell you. I am offering him the same protection that I would offer any of you in similar circumstances. So we're gonna deal with this as a family, together. Sorry, I can't stay. Happy birthday, huh? Right. Did he give him anything? To Raymond? Yeah. Not really. It was kind of ambiguous. There's no, no details there. You know, I'll bet she was seeing somebody. You never know about people. She was seeing somebody and... FBI. Telling them a lot. Well, not really, but enough. He joyfully returned home on leave to marry his sweetheart. That's a lot of ice cream. Maybe he scooped up the share. Sorry, did you want to be alone? Just don't talk. It'll be fine. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's thinking right now. Did he want alone time? He's watching his history channel. Yeah. The favoritism Tony still shows for our fucking cousin after what he's done. And I'm supposed to maybe take a bullet for this case. After all your uncle's done for you, I need to get into specifics. He's like, I just killed your fucking fiance, <laughs> and you're bitching right now? Actually, I've been hanging around on purpose. I gotta talk to you, Tony. Uh-oh. About what? It's about you don't want to eat shit from John. You don't want to bow down. Yeah. Well, he disrespected him. Seven deadly sins, and yours is pride. <laughs> every decision you make affects every facet of every other fucking thing. This is the course I've chosen. And those of you that are not with me on it, well, that makes me sad. And it'll be dealt with in time. What does that mean? Back the fuck off. <laughs> I've made my decision, and now you're making me more mad about it? They're both right. And... Yeah, absolutely, but he's just gonna dig, he's just digging his heels in even more. Yeah. You need me for anything else? He doesn't like people telling him. His issues. Yeah. <laughs> he's hiding out at the crazy horse? Yeah, I'll never find you there. Why wouldn't they go there to look for him? Dum dums. He is crazy enough to do shit in public too. That yep. He's distraught enough. Didn't book it out of there fast enough. Back up. Fuck. Oh boy. It's a start. Am I kill him? I don't think so. Jesus. He has a fractured skull. X. This is fucked up. What do you want to do about it? I want that man there to do something about it. Tony Blundetto. Whack the brother of a captain. Tony tried to strike at them again. We should take him out. Those are some pretty big words, too. He's talking about Tony B, right? What? If Tony B tries to strike again, right? No, he's talking, he's talking about, about him. Tony? Yeah. I pinned myself into a corner here. And I don't see a way out. But he wasn't made, right? The kid. Phil's son. Tell Phil. Tell Phil what? <laughs> Uncle Judy, he really needs your help right now, and you're being no help, and it's not anything he can do. It's his mind. Make sure you eat a lunch today. He's lost it. And he just needs five minutes of him being with it. Yeah. I went to see my son's football coach. 
See, he was starting my boy, and now coach is going to this other kid more. What's the reason? Well, AJ's just devoting more energy to academics. He's determined to get into a good school. <laughs> sure. Whatever you want to do vis-a-vis -vis your cousin, your son, whoever, own your feelings. I'm very confused. It's my mess. All my choices were wrong. So he's feeling like he's made the wrong choices and he doesn't know how to clean it up? Mm-hmm. Patrick said to tell you guys some people have bogus cups. They brought them with them to get out of pain. Kagers. We're getting ripped off. You think it's like downloading music? That beer's our property unless you pay for it. Fucking manners! Is he being a little Tony right now? Yeah, he's showing a little bit of a Tony initiative there. Big. Hello? He's not on caller ID for Johnny Sack? Apparently not. He was at the Bing, right? Mm-hmm. I want to talk to you. Hey, you got some beefs. He still have that portrait of him? <laughs> <laughs> he's going to see it. <laughs> I told the guys the chance to hang a picture of you on my wall. I rescued it from the flames. What's with the hat and shit? <laughs> I don't have a modern look in here. So go with something more traditional. Something that catches more of what you're really all about. A goddamn lawn jockey? That's not a lawn jockey. That's a general. What general? Who? Oh. It's not a real general from history. It's you. That's kind of sweet. Is he blowing smoke? No, I don't think or so. he's actually being honest. Yeah, I think yeah, he's I being he was... honest. It's like a regal general, right? Yeah. It's like George Washington. Yeah. The fuck? Oh, no. You gonna hang it in his office now? No. Throw it in the garbage can that Polly can't find. It's going through his mind. <sighs> he didn't want him to suffer. Yeah. Phil wanted to do that himself, though. Yeah. Is that going to be enough for him? I don't think so. He's at 146 Route 9A, Kinderhook. Is it going to be enough? Isn't he just sitting there? Should be, but it's dark. There he sees him. We got you your Bialis and coffee. Do they know what's up? It feels like they're all walking on. Go Bialy. Anytime, boss. Catch you later. Take it easy, Tom. So they all know what he did. Yeah. All right. Tomorrow morning, then, my house, 6.30. What? I'm on a 9 a.m. flight to Miami. I have to get things in line down there. You and you alone. I'm not having Phil, nobody. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Did you ever say anything about Ralph or the Bevelacqua kid? No. Would you remember? I swear on my life. Yeah, he never really gave her anything. No. They didn't really have anything from her. Mm -mm. They wanted Chris because he knew stuff. Right. She was willing to rat me out because she couldn't do five fucking years. I thought she loved me. There's no good to think about that now. It's a hug Christopher needed. Mm -hmm. You're crying? 
Well, oh, true. Eh? <laughs> it's like a son, father and son moment. You're going to stroke out if you can't find a way to control yourself about all this. <laughs> I know. Hang that phone up. Call me back later. You still have a phone in your room? <laughs> Those applications are late. You are cooked. It's that simple. And I do know this because I have He's not going to college. He's going to be joining the family business. No allowance. Well, I have $300 of my own money. How? Me and Matt put on a party. Five dollars a person. We made 600 bucks after expenses. What expenses? The band. Is that what you <laughs> The keg. Well, they was drinking, I suppose. We just let people into Matt's house. What they brought with them was not under our control. Criminal mastermind. Horrible liar. Acting like your parents weren't your age at right? one point. <laughs> what might be good schools to study event planning? Event planning. Let's be a party planner. He, it, he needs a business degree is what he needs. Gay, isn't it? <laughs> What's his name? Steve Rubell, the Studio 54 guy? Oh, Jesus. Future owner of the Crazy Horse? Could be. <laughs> Only have to be 18 to manage a bar. Just can't serve drinks. Yeah. You can serve, you just can't drink. Not in all states. Uh. He could run the crazy horse. <laughs> he's charging five dollars a cup for the, the kager. Nightly well, events. How's that any different Nightly than the crazy events. horse? Yeah. Band and give him three years. Now what we are here for in the end is to put food on the table for our families. That's what's important. He doesn't accept that. His family's smaller by one. Well then, my friend, it's up to you to make him accept it. No kidding. That's your job as the boss, right? These people you run into want to be boss, huh? They should know. I told you. You don't listen, you nut. It's good. Seeing you again. Still look forward to working with you, John. I mean that. You want a coffee? Well, I don't know. Yeah, who's coming up over that hillside? Fucking Christ. The FBI? Or for Johnny Sack? Oh, and Tony came strapped. They're busting Johnny Sack? FBI! Open up! FBI! Hard to run in the snow, too. Ooh. Ouch. He's just gonna keep running through the forest. Might as well, right? Burr. You need like AJ's school or something. <laughs> just waiting for my kid. <laughs> Jimmy Petriel was a cooperator. Brooklyn, this sweet old guy. He gave them gambling, homicides, trafficking, 18 fucking years worth. It's a major crap lock, my friend. I was fucking there. My what? car's still in the driveway. No law against parking your car unless it's in front of a hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you weren't named in the indictment, obviously. Were I you, I might actually consider laughing. Or rub a hunchback's hump. Or something. <laughs> Sort of solves all of his problems. Right. They're all going to jail, probably. If, unless Phil's still out, he might just go rogue. If Johnny Sack was indicted, Phil would be part of... Yeah, but did he get busted, I'm saying? Sure, I'm sure he did. <laughs> he walk all the way home? I think it ends like this. It's kind of like he's the bear coming home to his house. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to you? Your shoes are soaking wet.
All right. Well, okay. So Johnny Sack got caught. Yeah, it sounds Johnny like his Sack's whole family. Whole, yeah, whole crew, right? His whole crew's kind of basically all of New York then. Even the um, Carmine Jr. Because he um, said it would have gone all the way up to Carmine Sr. if he hadn't died. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see if that means Carmine Jr. is going in with him or if he's actually now the de facto boss of hard what's to, left of that family. Yeah, hard to know. Right? He won kinda by Kind of sounds like uh, either way, default. Tony's kind of the highest man on the Well, yeah, because he's kind of like a branch off of that family, right? Mm. I feel like... I feel like they're independent they were working, families. They, they were independent, but they were kind of... He was... But they had dealings together. Because the New together. York families are bigger. So now so, all the money that New York was making will probably go straight to New Jersey, yeah. I would imagine, right? Yeah, maybe. Somebody's got to keep running the businesses. And yeah. They were hitting Johnny Sack because they knew he was leaving this... He was going to Florida, so they are trying to get him right before he left town. Mm, could be. And Tony just happened to be there for the meeting. So yeah. I'm coming up... I was worried it was like... When I saw the guys come up it was the hill, guys coming to kill Tony. Uh, my first thought was like, "Oh no, is it somebody to hit Tony?" And then I was like, no, "Wait, is it Little Carmine oh. making a hit on?" Nope, just the feds. Nope, it was feds. So yeah, hmm. so it'll be th- interesting to see where it goes. Yeah, how season six yeah. is going to start with this development. Yeah. So yeah, um, Tony talk about the price that he paid because he had to take out his cousin, and also mm-hmm. what his cousin meant to him because. Of his fainting, causing him not to be there and not get busted with him, and how his cousin went to jail for him, basically, and then he just had to. The guilt take was the out. price yeah, he the paid. The guilt yeah. of that, his whole. The guilt of not being able to repay him for Wait. the guilt that he yeah. had carried before, and so. yeah, yeah, it's a bummer. Mm-hmm. And Christopher, but it was from a rules standpoint, from their rules yeah. standpoint, it was the right choice yeah he just he took out a made he couldn't get over, man, he had to get made? over his guilt to be able to make the choice yeah right? yeah Bummer. what do you think he meant why, why why did he think christopher had to take care of just because it's family yeah it's family and um they were up yeah, there to, it's family with that one weekend it's family and he couldn't do it himself yeah he wanted it done right yeah do you think uh all the other guys that were kind of wishy-washy with Tony. I think that solved the problem. Solved. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They needed him to to do that to prove that he cared about Everybody the family. As a whole. Not, not just, just his, his blood. His blood. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully Polly doesn't hold any uh, ill will after losing his painting. And his I literary. know. That was kind of rude. Did you think Polly was being sincere with everything? Yeah. With I think expl- he was. explanation for his painting? I think he was. Yeah. yeah. I always thought that he just couldn't stand Tony looking at him, but you think he I just think he, wanted Tony to be more regal? And I think he couldn't stand Tony looking at him as Tony, but he liked the fact that Tony was looking at him as a like as a, a leader. Yeah, and more of like a a leader without being the direct like, oh, here's like, Fat Man just Tony. A, just <laughs> a, yeah. Right, well, what did you think of season five as a whole? It was good. Yeah, a lot, a lot kind of happened. I mean. Yeah. I can't believe they killed off Adriana. So I guess they killed off Adriana because the actress got hired to be in the Joey spinoff. Oh, bummer. <laughs> <laughs> it only lasted what? Oh, one season? No. Was it only yeah, one season? something like that. Did it make That's it a full season? Unfortunate. Yeah. Bad call, huh? But also at the same time, the way they were setting up her character, they, they needed, it was kind of the yeah, inevitable. It was either that or she was going to... Or one of them was going to have to go down yeah. for something. So, so it makes sense. Yeah. It was a good call. She might have been killed off anyways. So how do you think Christopher is handling her death? He only used that one time the day it happened, the day he had to clean up the mess. I think he's doing he's, well. He's actually clean like he told I, Honestly, Tony? I think she, they weren't good for each other. Yeah. They, you think she kind of enabled him a little bit? Well, she never stopped drinking around him. Yeah. She never stopped really using drugs around him either. Yeah. Like. She wasn't helping him. And then they were just kind of very, this weird, codependent, unhealthy relationship. Yeah. I mean, he was always beating her. She was always drinking. And I yeah. I just think that he's going to be better now that she's not there. All right. All right. Well, Carmela and Tony are back together trying to figure out what's up with AJ. <laughs> Do you think maybe in season six, AJ might? Crazy horse. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I, I mean. Think he'll, that's the direction he I go. Graduated from high school and 
having to work for his dad. I think so. You think Carmel is going to be okay with? I, at this point, I feel like she's not going to care if he gets into the business. I think if with his attitude, I think she's going to probably it's going to try to like if it if it goes the crazy horse direction, it's going to be like a okay, he works a crazy horse, but you do not drag him into this. Yeah, into it's just an actual and, manager yes, job yep. and not a. Just the same like Adriana, right? Like she's not part of the business. She's just managing the business. Christopher. Any other overall thoughts for season five? How'd you like it? I liked it a lot. Yeah. 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 Steve Buscemi was a good addition for majority of the season. season. Yeah. Yeah. The trouble he caused. Yeah. I think I like this one better than season four. Yeah. Was season four your favorite before this? I don't know. I can't remember. I can't really. I can't distinguish them to be honest. Yeah. It's hard to. They're all like they, just one big season to yeah. me. Because well, we watched the next would be backtrack. Like Ralph, uh, Ralphie. Season two was I didn't, Richie. I didn't like Ralphie at all. Yeah. Just, I'm just saying, as the overall yeah. plot line was Ralphie's issues, his problems. Yeah, I guess we'll see what yeah, the last well, season. We've got 21 episodes left. Ooh, that's a lot of episodes. That's 21 season, 21 episodes, season six. A lot for one hour episodes. So I think what they it was basically a season six and a season seven, but they the just contract wise, I think they worked it out as it was only one season. You're not gonna have to sign another contract to do another season kind of thing. Right? Gotcha. So I think it's like twelve episodes and then nine episodes with because they did the first twelve, took a hiatus for like a year, and then the last nine. Oh, okay. So, you know, so it'll probably feel like two seasons. Two, it'll probably feel like yeah, there'll be a mid season finale feel, right? Okay. For the hiatus they took, but we won't have a hiatus. We'll just keep rolling. Well, we've just done that with all of them, anyways. That's why it all feels like one big season to yeah. me. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with the Sopranos. So the question is: Were you sad to see Adriana go? Yeah. Or like, was it about time? It's about time to see her go. I mean, we're, how much further could they really take yeah, the character her character at, with, uh, and run its the course, way she I think. was? You know, being an informant, right? Mm-hmm. And where's this rank in your season rankings of The Sopranos? Yeah. And any other general thoughts you have on season five? That's right. Tell us what you love about it. Yeah. Also, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for the season finale of season five. Yep. Get ready for the final season next week. Woohoo! <laughs> Until next time. Have a good one. Bye. Sorry. (laughs) The worst time to drop it. (laughs)